All right. Well, we're gonna return to an old favorite of mine. I've been enjoying a Warhammer as is, but since we've completed that campaign and uh, I did mention I wanted to continue or come back to X Pirates to do a different playthrough, one that involves hopefully a little bit more Psy, because you know. If there's one thing I've neglected up until this point, it has been Psy. I mean, it's it's what I do literally every single playthrough. Well, besides this one, Peasant Revolution Great Codex and the Dumbass Captain. Yeah, we're gonna add the Dumbass Captain to it, but that's the plan. We're gonna run a little Peasant Revolution, because that did sound pretty fun. And uh, we're also gonna throw in the Great Codex and apparently the Dumbass Captain as well. Going green or bust, sorry chocolate, no can do. Uh, last time we played on Blackbird difficulty, and I know I was complaining about Davy Jones being a bit too rough. Uh, we're not gonna play on Jack Sparrow, but... Oh... Well, I don't know. We're gonna try out Davy Jones. We're gonna try out Davy Jones, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna regret it, but we'll see how that plays out. Um, <laughs> we're not gonna go Super Mutant, and uh, and let's get started with it. We're running the latest everything. Uh, I did do a fresh install of X Pirates, and I also did a fresh install of um, Open XCOM. Where are we gonna build our first base? No pirates, what does gold really offer? Um, let me think, what was gold good at? Like, I know green is all about preserving your troops, red is about heightened aggression, grey is about psychic cap capabilities, but gold is about money, really. Like, nothing interesting whatsoever. Ah, the jack of all trades, there we go, okay. So where are we gonna be starting? That's the real question. So, every starting location does have a, a general uh, benefit associated to it. I do remember that the Kali Republic now will give you six cat girls to start with. Red Revolution, Dark Dominion. I'm actually going to see if I can pull up the list of all the starting modifiers. Plus 100 Bravery. Ooh. That is pretty cool. That is pretty damn cool. Ah, crap. Let me just find it. Watch me accidentally build something here. That'd be embarrassing. Yeah, so I would like to at least figure out the starting location so we kind of know... There we go. Starting conditions. That's not the starting conditions I'm looking for. Hmm. I feel like I should have had this on hand, I suppose. I am looking into this. Don't worry. Sure, I'm sure it's uh, easier to figure out. They're not too strange, I know. Make it or break it. Oh boy, here we go. I might go for the Theban Hive, but honestly, I'm leaning towards California. Um, Kelly Republic. And the Kelly Republic will actually give you. Uh, 50 Mutant Porn, 50 Glamour, 50 Crack, 8 Catgirl Captives, and 75 Hideout Cleaning Bill. Red Revolution. Workers, I guess. Oh my god, Cat, you scared the living crap out of me. You're turning off the light now? Uh, Alright, give me a second. There we go. Yeah, so one of our cats has discovered how light switches work. It's uh it's quite interesting to say the least. Um But yeah, most likely we're gonna go with California girls. Let me just uh, double check this. It's been roughly about maybe four or five updates. Okay, I think two large updates. Since we last played, so some things might have changed a little bit. 
Oh, uh, the Feeban Hive. I thought the Feeban Hive gave you not access to super peasants, but they gave you... What was it? What about something else? There we go, the Feeban Hive. Oh, uh, that is the Feeban Hive country. Ta -ta. There we go. Six assault clones. Yeah, there you go. Assault clones. Well, this is the plan. Alright, this is the plan. We're doing dumbass instead of lazy ass, so it's okay. Are you sure? The only problem with Cat's Grey Revolution is that Yukian is already doing a run on it. It's okay, I will always be full shameful. <laughs> We're going full chaos. Um... All right, we'll go for California. We'll go for California. You know, six cat girls. I'll get them killed before we can actually use them. Ah, right, Kelly Republic. I built in the mountains. Built further down south. I want to try to cover as much land mass as possible, especially early on. Hail Saint means you get witch quests way easier. Uh, I don't even know if that's a good thing or a bad thing to me. Gale Saints, holy shit, I'm actually kind of familiar with Gale Saints, I'm gonna be fair. So... Ah, screw it. What do Assault Clones give me? Okay, now I actually want to go all in on the Assault Clones. Assault Clones! Da, 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 da. These troops exclusively female were created by Cleopatra. Uh huh, Bulk of the Feeban Army. Uh huh, uh huh. Minus 30 voodoo skill. God fucking damn it. Every single time, careful. I, I don't even know what to say. If your captain personality is the opposite of your codex, you go Kale Saint. It's mostly a penalty for the player. Uh, yay. Sounds like fun. Fuck, I really should have decided this beforehand, but let's stick with Catcross and see, see how it goes. I'll try to take uh, this little corner right over here. That does sound pretty good. I love recruits. Trying to figure out what is going to give me the best late game coverage. Yeah, yeah, I think I can live with this. <laughs> Shameless sewers. I mean, I, I love it, but uh, we'll call this point zero. Alright, with point zero in place and our initial base set up, let's see if we can actually uh, get some things rolling. Okay, so how did this go again? So we probably want to try to kick off our codex as early as possible. We probably also want to start recruiting some local peasants. It's It's been literally like nine months since I last played this, so... <laughs> So you're going for early cat girls? Yeah, I kind of have fallen for cat girls. They were pretty cool uh, last time we played. Rolls and drills. Embrace the power, I do believe. And then we have the menacing, menacing hull. Tiny trail. Was that it? I think we might need to start with calling a town, uh, sorry, calling a regular meeting, just so we can go down the holes and drill. Did we reject the power last time around? I can't remember. I think we might have. Yeah, so I think we basically want to go down to uh, towards the tiny drill. 
he did reject last time. Wow. So let's call a meeting. Let's uh, slap two people on it. And I probably also want to start recruiting from the local peasantry, right? Yeah, look at that peasant revolution. Diverging paths and recruit local, local peasants and diverging paths come from recruitment. Let's get that ball rolling as well. This time you're allowed to go grey and get the Shadow Mask Crafts. Yeah, that, that, oh god, I remember that boss. That was fun. Okay, we have an armor vault, we have a still, we have prison cells, we have a not secured corridor, we have boros, which we're not currently using. Um, if I want to go to the black market, we could potentially like pick up zero brainers. Rip. Uh, there is grunt, so we can actually get down to the manufacturing part. And start producing some stuff. I think it was torches, right? That we could produce and sell for a little bit of profit. Um... Yeah, it's, we probably need to replay this five or six times before I kind of get the hang of it. I feel like early game is something you got to be incredibly careful with. Oh, it's moonshine, really? No, it's not moonshine. Seems to be torches. It's weird. Unless I'm crazy. Um... I kind of am curious about something real quick. I wonder if it actually counts the times five. I believe you want to make some moonshine, not for money, but for recruits. Yeah, extracted layering is a bit later, which would be better than torches. Yeah, speaking about that, we're going to have some captive cat girls. Okay. How about this? How about we make 10 pieces of moonshine? And that should amount to up to 50. It's going to take 8 days. Uh, if we go to our prison cells real quick. Okay, the cat girls aren't here yet. But that should take care of our research. I actually like how this makes a 1. I don't know if that was intentional, but I like it. This is our Airbus. We have six gal gals. That's the way armors. Yeah, we're gonna take it nice and slow. We're good at nice and slow, right? Um, then we should have training, right? No training yet. The snake has some window issues. Uh, the shadow bat. I don't think I've ever used a, a shadow bat. I know I used the earthworm. That was fun. <laughs> Whatever it's called. The location of America. This region contains many large farms and well fortified towns separated by large swaths of Iceland. Political pressure is moderate. Uber wheat, cabbage, mutant meat, vodka. Fantastic. <laughs> I do remember that vodka was a fantastic tool to have, and let's uh, make sure we take all of it with us. Send me up as an Uber. I can believe it. Oh, hold on. Ah, shoot. Didn't get the last name. You know what? I think we had an Istar Sabertooth. Now we have another Istar Sabertooth. Fantastic. <laughs> Hello. Let's see if we can trail them. Oh, that's a plane sound. <laughs> I know, I got very excited over that. It's also an Airbus. Cool. Come on, feel free to land. How much fuel do I have left? Wait. She'll be able to disengage, right? <laughs> Alright, let's quickly get over there. I was thinking about starting a new run with the Golden Codex and Dumbass Captain, but I wanted to mod my own music and got stuck listening to music for hours. Hey, there are. Yeah. I like that there is now a little sound craft. Uh, sound, sound light for a craft. Alright, so they have landed. Let's take a stab at this. Alright, so, 
Um, we do not know exactly what we're going to be fighting. But I do sure as hell know that I am going to be kicking ass. Hey, the Cantino refreshment. Didn't this used to be green? Oh, I'm probably thinking about something else. Never mind. So, Moonshine replenishes energy. Stun damage. Ah, I'm thinking about wisdom. There you go. The chainsaw looks different as well. We're gonna be doing a lot of. Oh, this looks different. Um, just as a warning, this does heal the vodka. But we also have bandages, so let's rely a bit on bandages. Um, I'm gonna go very heavy on the melee. I do have a good feeling about that. Stickups for two days. These things for two days as well. 9 time units 85%, 90 and 8 time units. Hmm. Okay, we'll be fine. So let's save this as nothing actually. This is just gonna be trash that I'm gonna throw on people. Again, I'm gonna be playing this a bit heavier on melee than you. Um, don't worry about it. Why not the standard baseball bat? The baseball bat is two-handed, and I might overkill with it. Um, okay, maybe I should go with the baseball bat. I've, I I still remember that I ended up killing people with the baseball bat quite often. Um, That is good early, but as your Kels that get better, they do become lethal. <laughs> yeah, if I come from a time where uh, I tended to uh, crack a few skulls, right? Now I do think the pet actually does skill with, uh, with strength, so maybe I just want to give it to people with high strength. And again, but then again, the pet does seem to uh, not be as impressive as the handle in some cases. Are you going to save scum this run? Yeah, probably. I'm gonna try not to, but I'm just not good enough at the game. I'm gonna try to apply a more clean policy though. I I feel very dirty at the very end with how much save scumming I did. Uh it's time we we attempted this. Uh What is a clean policy? I will not save scum unless some bullshit happens, like where my entire item search gets blown up by explosives, and even that I feel very dirty about. I always just like to think that, you know, best case scenario I don't do it, but I just feel like I don't have the moral uh, integrity not to do it, but I'll try. Oh god, I can already feel myself lying right there. I'll try. Uh, we'll get some Molotov Cocktails. Night mission, I do have better line of sight. I'll try my best. Just do a channel point saves compass. Uh, oh no. I don't even dare to ask what exactly you mean with that, because I think I know and I don't like it. I guess people won't like it. Uh, okay, nope, this is how we're gonna do it. Anybody with pretty good aim? Um, 71, 71 might not be enough, but... Uh, I'm considering pulling out a shotgun on somebody, but yeah, I'd like to stick to non-lethal damage, but... Can't always do that. So what was the assault gun? Okay, I'll try to do it without saves coming. Unless my item stash gets blown up. That's the only exception. People pay points to save scum. Result is almost nobody dies due to how many points people have.
I feel like the the opposite would happen here. People will just not pay any points to watch me suffer and watch people die. <laughs> Bows are less lethal early on. Good point, very good point. Always forget that. Alright, off we go. Uh, right. <laughs> Duck. <laughs> fuck. Oh, fuck. I don't want to do this. God damn it. Yeah, they're just immediately going for it. At least you don't have a do stupid shit point reward like I've seen someone else have. Uh, yeah, I think that'd be pretty lame. Mm. Got her. <laughs> How far does he see in the dark? Far enough. What difficulty is this? This is uh, David Jones. So it's a one higher than that. It's like the, the, the uh, one below the highest difficulty, which is Jack Sparrow. Shit, they're gonna sneak up behind me. Uh, okay, we'll play it calm and safe for now. Yep. Uh, is there light around the ship? Shouldn't be. Even if there was, no, it's off. I think I was within their night uh, range, night vision range. Shoot. Come on. Wait, shoot. Wrong person. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> mm. I don't think uh, this is going to be non lethal. <laughs> Thanks, Chocolate. Ah, I knew I could count on you. Are you going to use the V8 in the Little Bird to get her extra early glamour? I don't even think I should be doing that with the Peasant Revolution. Um, despite the fact that the glamour is nice, it sounds like assisted suicide. But maybe I'm wrong. Mm. I feel like I'm overcomplicating this way too much. Hmm, I don't know what you're talking about, and so nothing happened. Carry on, citizen. I want running in bikinis, maybe both. I know what I did, Knuffle, and I do not regret it. Oh, nice! You can hit me through windows! Well, that was funny. Until you know, it wasn't. By the way, who still needs experience? Just Nasty Dolph. Oh, right, wait, Nasty Dolph. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> what this? Wow, okay. Um, I'm sure they'll take offense to that. Jesus. Casually overstunning them. Uh, nasty tough, nasty tough, nasty tough. Can I do anything with you? No. But this does seem to be a melee capable person. It's great. Aha! Hmm. 
Oh, very, very disappointed. Actually, my disappointment is about to become quite immense. I might have rushed this a bit too quickly without having a proper plan. Especially because I'm having to do frontal punches as well now. Oops. I totally didn't mean to do that. Stay back, stay back, stay back. Go off. This is your time to shine. And with that, everybody got experience. Now, sadly, one of the Overstunt actually died. Uh, but otherwise, we got the hostages, some hostages. Is that increase for everybody? Look at that. That's off to a good start. And what are we going to keep and what are we going to sell? Why did we just get seven? Why did we just get seven of these? I think all we need is one. Uh, we got four Academy Nurses, which I guess we're going to be keeping. Personal computer. A uh, small ship engine is something that I'd like to keep as well. I guess we'll keep all of it for the time being, but we'll sell off the fugitive orders because honestly, you need only one, as I said. We have a new bossy gal, patient, murder, and soft target. Way to go, everybody. Not the best of starting missions, but good enough for me. Now, one person did take uh, wounds, unfortunately, for 17 days. Alright. Bandits. Here. By the way, what's the difference between a castaway outfit and a stair? Astaire has no inventory but gives a free $200 chip. Yeah, yeah, that's no go. Alright, we'll keep it. Castaways. By the way, stun button, big yes. One additional handle. Wasn't a rope arranged weapon? Yes, it was. Also, I will be using a varmint, uh, varmint rifle. One thing that I'm worried about is that I will now be deploying with five people instead of six. This is probably one of the few things I will save scum for in case I get intercepted, so please don't judge me for that. Um, call a meeting! Oh boy, I think I... Yeah, we'll go through it again. We girls here do not know anything about the world and its ways, but since we got into this weird protection scheme with the government, we must set some worthy goals to avoid stabbing ourselves and each other too much. Too late. Uh, then Brandon inspired us with an idea. Let's become like pirates of old, have adventures in style, laugh at unjust property laws and get as rich as possible. But at the same time, live with honor and don't fear death. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm not great with that. Fight to create a safe haven for our people, just winning everyone's respect. Pirate Cell is also quite important. If I remember correctly, Pirate Cell is probably the first time that we get an actual armor. <laughs> but holes in real. Let's get one person working on that. I'm not going to research the Academy nurses, no matter how much I'd like to research them. I think it's a great idea. Fugitive search orders might be nice to pick up as well, and I'd like to, uh... We need loot to, uh, distribu uh, distribution as well. Pirate cell is more important. And recruit local peasants. We have visited the nearby village to try to forge some sort of alliance with these out zoners. Oh, and they'll become quite handy soon enough. As are proud people, they said that we won't recruit any men. Their women are still tougher than most city boys. 
with a sufficient monetary encouragement which can go towards the well-being of the villagers or maybe a luxurious life for a single individual. We found no shortage of willing subjects. Peasants are healthy, willing, uh, willful, they will fight even when seriously injured, but they're untrained in combat, neither do they possess or robust uber physiques. <sighs> Isn't tribal clothing earlier? I think there's a bikini design topic. Oh boy. <laughs> I think tribal is something that you get from... Ah, there's pirate clothing, by the way. Uh, up, 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 up. uh Let's go back here. Pirate cell, pirate VP, call a meeting. No, what am I looking for? <laughs> ah, shit. I know what I was looking for and I lost it. Yeah, I think tribal is something you get from... Oh no, here you go. Are they available? Oh fuck, get back here. Why buy tribal outfits? Yeah, that might actually unlock uber clothing, which is what I confuse tribal clothing with. Ah, it's a nearby town. It's a nearby town, uber clothing. There you go, right off the bat. So those are quite important for us to pick up. Now when it comes to tribal clothing, let's actually go to uh Budipedia. Where is it? I can notice that my brain already stopped working. <laughs> Shit. Ah, tribal clothing. Um, it does have better stamina, it does have better reactions and some brute power. We also have a tiny bit of spot. But I think otherwise the castaway is roughly about the same. And yes, tribal will eventually give us fur for cold missions, which is something I gotta remember. I have grown incredibly placent when it comes to temperatures. But yes, we need, we need, we need, we need tribal clothing. Six of it. It's relatively cheap. Ah. There's a good chance that this is a very bad idea. Yeah, I've heard that cold got changed around a little bit. It doesn't just do first energy damage and then health damage. It does it both. Like, less energy damage but health damage at the same time, if I remember correctly. But that is just going off my uh, very dubious, questionable mind. Uh, we're going to pick up a varmint rifle. Where on the map are we? Or go bikini V8 or no balls. Okay, I have no balls. They've been clipped apparently. Okay, so we haven't spotted the camp yet, and I'd like to take to the high ground if possible. Here's the camp. Alright, so that's the direction we roughly could be heading. Alright, and here's our first uh, ruffian. No, I'm saying it in a weird way, but I am apparently. But yeah, our first ruffian. Now these guys don't have the best night vision, fortunately for me. There's a rough pin number two. I think there's going to be three or four of them. Rough pin number three. Just do not run into their guns and we are fine. I do believe there is more than three on the map. There has to be.
Watching me make a really dumb mistake here. Yeah, yeah that it is. But I'm not here to train reaction, I'm here to kick ass and chew bubblegum. I don't like this ruffian. But I guess we can have a little bit of uh, reactions training for muttering end. Yeah, that's the important part about Glamour, uh, the additional reaction score that I personally uh, would like quite a bit. Also, I think my... Nice shot, I guess. I think my uh, morale is uh, hurting quite a bit. Great. Not great. Very bad. God damn it. Uh-huh. Okay, so we're gonna be doing this. Ah, shit. Oh god, we got lucky there. Okay, so I am actually in trouble of getting shot at now, but... Uh, let's not worry too much about it. Uh, one of the two is bleeding. Uh, at the early stake reaction shot is experience, which lets you get the secondary stats as well. It was a pure skill, yes. Um, exactly. Words and brackets included. Yeah, as long as we get experience, I guess it's nice, but... I have three people and two, two enemies, so... Nothing ends. Did that guy just try to shoot me? No. No, I knew it. Somebody tried to, to shoot uh, special beers. You know, I was looking at the bullet flyby. I'm like, some right about that. I dare to approach him. I need to. I will be suicide. Beautiful. Not beautiful. Bad. Oh, come on, guys. Thank you. I actually was expecting that to go a hundred times better, but yet here we are. Uh, so yeah, this is where um, bigger problems are going to begin. Not directly. Fair point, fair point. Okay, that's fine. Not everybody got experience. Two people missed out, but I'll take that hit. Ah, uh, because nobody got hurt, and look at that, we got two tribal clothing, son of a bitch. Just bought some as well. Some ruffians, we got some jewelry, consumer goods, which I think for now we can actually sell. Some smoke, some uh, vodka. Sloan said he wins the race. That's a very, very uh, cage mission, I suppose. And just like that, we have another thing that just appeared on the radar. Let's see if we can uh, intercept and kill that as well. <sighs> I'm really disappointed that somebody's out for 16 days. That's just disappointing. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, he's moving awfully quick. Ah. 
Ah, should have moved earlier. All right, let's go back home. Ah, that happens. Holes and drills. It's me, my Capitan, your favorite best brainer. I need to draw your uh, your attention to another issue. We spoke about at the meeting. Our vaults contain the menacing hole, the remains of a mysterious ship, as well as a certain tiny drill. It's clear that both artifacts hold great power. But should we embrace it or get rid of them before it's too late? The votes are split, so it's your decision. Yeah, it's my decision. I know what I'm gonna pick. And we're gonna embrace the power once more. Wait, but we're gonna embrace the power. For the first time. Um Oh, well, quote unquote first time. Distribution is something else that we're gonna be needing. Use the search orders. Group of six mostly harmless but rather valuable emails have escaped my research settlements. They stole my Airbus number fifty eight, my favorite one, and disappeared without a trace. Your group has been selected for the important task of finding them and bringing them back, preferably rather alive than dead. Even I usually find it difficult to revive polypridum corpses. Urgency is advised, I'm getting wary of constant delays to my research. If you fill this mission, I'll make sure with your boss that your next job will be serving as Osiris playthings or hunting sky ninjas. By the way, no weapon funding was allocated by the academy, so you have to make what you can. And then there is Dr. X, and of course we have Pirate Style. The Pirate Wardrobes contains a selection of stylish clothing, all sharing the same chest. That's very fortunate. Well, unarmed, these weapons will be filling versus oh, filling us with a nice pirate spirit, thus greatly strengthening our fighting prowess, each in its own way. I'm nor patience to explain now, Captain, but we'd be needing our culture to understand it all and actually produce these trappings. Which will be the next stop? Let's be fair. I would like to get some sailor outfits. Oh, but I like to get some sailor outfits. What can Sailor Outfits do for me? I feel like I want to be very careful with what I pick up and what I don't pick up. So I think the most thing that this gives me is more experience. Reduced combat stress. I mean more experience sounds nice, right? And we can make exactly six of them. How convenient. Ah, ah come on. Oh, it's back. It's moving too quick. It's moving at full speed, so I can't keep up with it. Country none, or Hydra doesn't lie within influence. Uh, uh, hello? Placed it close to the border, mother son of a f ah. Okay. I'm, I'm just cursing. Hold on. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Fuck me. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Fuck. Uh, okay. Alright, 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 alright. I'll keep this as backup, just in case. There we go. Same old, same old. Yeah, I've been bitten my ass pretty hard there. I really thought I had it done pretty well. Alright, so we had it here. How about one pixel to the left? No. Uh, let's move by the bits. How about we just build it right here in Bone Graveyard so that will teach them. Okay, no, I think we're going to set up right down here. It's a lot more inland. Here we go. Point one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are hurting me. In a good way, though. 
Uh, we'll buy some tribal clothing still. It's always quite important. Next up, we are going to be manufacturing... Um... What are we going to be manufacturing again? Moonshine, right? Yeah, moonshine. Um, we're going to be manufacturing four pieces of this. Uh, you're right, you're 100% right. That's how we're going to be doing it this time. Uh, around... Is there Sabertooth? It's back in the game. Can't forget about World Is there? Yeah, the Moonshine will be for recruiting girls. So we are going to be saving the Jolly Roger and we're going to... Galley Republic. Yeah, this time we did, uh, did ace it. Okay, uh, good to know. So, knowing that I haven't fucked up for once, that is fantastic. Let's go back to what we were doing. I think we were putting two people in a meeting and one on recruiting the local peasantry. Let's keep that ball rolling. Um, we have some vodka that is immediately gonna go on the plane. And let's hope that we actually have a pretty good first mission where everybody dies. That is what I call good in my books. And that should be our first mission that's popping up. Let's hope that they land. Which they did. Get them nonetheless. And let's get people loaded up, geared up. Shebang. You have 30 spike over here. Terrible firing, terrible throwing. Look at the melee. That's pretty sweet. See if I come to regret this setup. Next up, one night driver again. Same dealio. Uh, oh my god, guys! Holy. Um. Wow. Okay. Um. Everybody here knows a thing or two about melee compared to last time. Uh. Neat. <laughs> Strength wise, though, they're not too great. Or, uh, time unit wise. Yeah, strength wise, yeah. I <laughs> like how their strengths are called awful. That's okay. I forgot we had we had moonshine. I kept worrying about like my 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 energy, but we had moonshine that I could have just drank to solve my uh, energy issue. Now I feel pretty dumb. That's alright. I'm quite familiar with that feeling. Right. Look at that, we even start in the corner of the map. I'd like to make out a big gulp sound. We have a we have a very big problem guys. So the original plan was to take it enough was to take it nice and easy and wait for them to come towards me, but uh bins of plans. This seems to be an icy map. Oh well, every advantage has a disadvantage. Nope. Oh, off to a great start, right? At least this is non lethal. I think the real sad part here is that. Uh, oh. I think the real sad part here is that. Uh, I'm gonna have people who are gonna be wounded for several days. Looking at the debug on the Geoscape, the first base should probably have been in the Confederation. Oh god, that's even worse. How did that happen? Come on, don't 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 delay the inevitable. Okay, so they all seem to walk around with uh, whacking sticks. That's pretty funny actually if you ask me. Uh unfortunately. Is that is there who just went ZCC? No, just somebody else. Okay. About to get my ass whacked here. 
I like how they're actually just buying time now. Like these freaking bastards. Come on, please. Come on, please, 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 don't do this to me. Alright, well, we're kind of effed. Um, I'm allowed to save scum, right? Right? Wow. These, 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 these people show no mercy. None whatsoever. <laughs> Look at that! The only reason why this is even happening in the first place is because this freaking cold ass weather is killing me. Oh, um, yeah, I'm allowed to save some red. This is not actually restoring. Ah, oh, it's just stun fucking stun damage. Okay, okay. We'll pretend it never happened. But yeah, it actually really hurts that the first mission we're doing is an uh, ice map. A lot can be said here about how I played. Uh, a lot can be said about the first initial setup as well. God, it kind of does suck though. kind of does suck because uh, it's, it's so freezing cold you actually lose out on so much energy, which I need. Yeah, those saves coming. By the way, it would be nice if we actually used this as a primary melee weapon. Still don't know if this actually works or not, but we'll see. Yeah, so the whole reason why I am playing so aggressively is... The sooner we finish this mission... Uh, the less uh, damage we take. Which means that, you know, shorter time uh, that we are basically KO. Which I find kind of important. I knew it. I knew it. I knew they will fucking do that. I feel like I need to pop in just around their like line of sight. I'm not even using any charging or whatever. I'm just walking. Get a, get your ass over here, please. I need to see if I can maybe bait somebody. Have them come towards me in that case. There you go. Stuff like that, but I can't keep doing this forever, so let's move in. Who still needs experience? Bolt Vita and Alligator. So we do have running Alligator who's gonna run up to her in the back. Fantastic, and then we have Bolt Vita. It's gonna be a lot more tough for Bolt Vita. Damn. Can you get cut girls earlier with the start? I do believe so, but you gotta get them from, uh, you know, captivity. I really wish Bolt Vita could have uh, done in a no care, but it doesn't look like uh, we're fortunate enough with that. Uh, yeah, cat girl captives, which well, I guess you have to turn around and hire a recruit. Okay, so this time around we didn't have uh, everybody die, thankfully. Yeah, it was really nasty that it was actually a... Oh, bye-bye. Shit, I might actually want to keep those, but they're kind of heavy. We're going to sell them for the time being. Uh, they're going to be... They're going to be... Whatchamacallit? Captives, so you gotta recruit them. I gotta see what you need in order to recruit them, but it should be easier. And that was pretty nasty. <laughs> and there's my tribal clothing, by the way, that I desperately would have needed. Uh, we've called a meeting. Uh, next up, pirate style, and I also would like to research uh, drills amongst other things. 
and there's the cat girls. Kelly Republic, known for its peculiar political system called democracy, as well as for being the world's leading power in movie production. A ruler called a president is always chosen by a general vote. Voting is easy, as all TV sets have touchscreens. From the most popular movie stars in a monthly poll, the poll also decides what to do with the former president. A popular, a popular choice being death on the stage. The local movie industry prides itself in that no effects are fake, and the land of the free there is no and the local government so ordered to force by highly fanatical death squads of a fully hermetic dome. Uh, through the feet of inbreeding, eupologist order. It's only natural that the leaders of this organization, engaged in such ungrateful and hard work, take two thirds of everyone else's earnings. After all, they don't revere Dollar the Almighty for nothing. Soldier Cat Girl. Benson, Cat Girl Captive, Cat Girl Taurus, Cat Girl Volunteer. So we have Cat Girl Volunteer, Soldier Cat Girl. Okay, by the way. Hold on. Oh. We don't have them yet. There they are. Also, if I want to clean out the hideout, how much is it going to cost me? Oh, just all my cash uh, times two. Yeah, cat girl captive. Item required cat girls. All I have to do is research the captive. Uh, Japan can be a good start for early cat girls since it gives a shortcut to cat plate armor and there's more places to obtain cat girls recruits from now on. Yeah, I've heard that. That's pretty cool. I'm quite happy with that. So all I have to do is research cat girl captives and we're off to start. God, I have missed this music. We're gonna be embracing the power first though. And we'll uh, get some future of orders going as well. We can now produce the sailor outfit. Let's go. But yeah, consider me incredibly skeptic, but I just feel like last time we had a pretty good thing going, and well. Yeah. 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 By the way, wounded for two days, four days, two days. Root local peasantry. Fantastic. Get group captive. Hmm. I want to visit a nearby town. Larium distilling though. Ooh, that is pretty good. But loot distribution is quite important. <laughs> Raise the power, destiny awaits. There was never really a choice. You're but a plaything of the gods, but by the time you're finished, even they might tremble at what you've created, or what they've created. Yes, I know how to read some fugitive search orders, and that's the Dr. X research. Okay, gonna pop a save here. The world seems awfully more calm. One crew member brought you a poser she found hanging on some fence outside. The rhinos on it do not make much sense to you, but the woman depicted there reminds you of yourself. At least if you squint hard enough, you're famous, and this surely must be the work of someone who's looking for you. Ah, uh, there's your sailor outfits. I don't think we can intercept this. Um, I know what this is. I can put my finger on it, but I know what this is. Maybe they will. Maybe they'll stop. Maybe they'll just stop and hang out. It's a career. Thank you. That's right. Just, just hang out. Nothing to worry about. We're gonna be making some torches, by the way. I don't like where it's heading. Let's uh, chase it. They go from point to point and then poof. Ah, shit. So they don't stop in the meantime. Alright. 
right, yeah, there you go. Okay, back to our hideout. And that's... If we wait one hour before we engage the bandits, we'll have a full crew. Cat Girl Captive! Is Megapol afraid of interstellar dipl uh, diplomatic embroilment? So looks like the answer is no. That's why this Cat Girl ended up in prison. Knowing the Megapol, we can say this uh, with complete confidence that this girl is on the right side. Internally, she is quite friendly, may even become a member of the crew if find the right approach. The Nekomimi, the status of an independent empire. The Nekomimi civilization somehow managed to flourish and achieve space travel without any interference by the star gods. Cunning and aggressive, they still... Uh, there's still no real threat to the vastness of the stellar empire, but the star gods likewise are refraining from engaging in a direct, uh, a direct military action, perhaps due to the rumored Gigantron-sized uh, Gigantron warships the Nekomimi command. I can't talk. I can't produce speech, please. Being a much more primitive civilization than the ancient star gods, the Nekomimi still managed to come up with several unique technologies, and there might be way to might be ways to acquire some of these. Oh man. Maybe I need to give Master of Orion 2 another roll. Oh god, does that also have gi uh, gigaton uh, sized warships? The Peregrine Cult. This is new. Ah, yeah, that is new. Soldier Cat Girl. I don't know, this feels a bit early. I'm kind of gonna back up a bit and instead focus on nepotism. No, 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 no. Where's my peasant revolution? Yeah, exactly, it's just info. Oh, we'll inspect some machinery. Distribution, we had fun. Now let's talk about money to know where uh to know what we're standing on and what to offer our potential comrades. The Skip Lunatics, being part owners, agree to take no money unless they gain the ranks of Boss Gal. New recruits won't usually be so generous. Did I mention ranks? Yes, the more girls we have, the more and higher ranking officers we'll need. Officers will get a monthly cash bonus. Boss Gals will get 20k, mistresses 50, princesses 100, and queens 250k. One boss per four kills, one mistress per three bosses, one princess per two mistresses, and one queen per 69 total crew, and never more than one. So say we, the crew. Oy. So if I want to recruit cat girls, right? I mean, why won't I want to recruit cat girls? What do I need? We need... Okay... 8 pieces of vodka, 40 pieces of smokes, and 40 pieces of fish. We can't buy the vodka yet, and we can't buy the smokes yet, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we can buy smokes. Fish might be the hardest to get. I think uh, vodka. Yeah, vodka needs research. I'm thinking if it's financially wise to thinking. Uh, that's a good joke. Um, we're gonna buy 40 smokes. We're gonna be buying what's it? 40 fish. kills me. They want five fish. No, they want eight fish. No, they want five fish. Five times 25 fish. And I'm gonna be pulling the vodka in that case. Opa. Right out of the airbus. 
<laughs> I almost forgot about this. Right, let's slap our uh, friend, one night driver in here. Let's uh, check out if there's anything I particularly need to take with me. Yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna be pawning off some garbage if uh, push comes to show. Well, not garbage, garbage, I suppose. Yeah. We can always get rid of some crack. I mean, after all, we're not real crackheads, right? So, I think we might have a little problem with the bandit camp. Oh, we definitely are gonna have a problem with the bandit camp. Yeah, that's exactly why I didn't buy the maximum amount of fish, but only the sheer or the least amount that I need. Let's hope we can make this. Yeah, just about. It's a nighttime mission. Uh, let's go. I really want to do this during nighttime. Uh, so I think what I want to do in this particular case is train my reactions. Um, no, I don't have a good reaction weapon. Why? Uh, maybe I do. No, no, not really. Hmm. Ball pits for the possible joke contamination, that is definitely a good point to make. Though the handles are a bit more reliable. Not like you actually need to hit. Yeah, that's true. It's very true. That is very, very true. I'm more concerned about the uh, weight issues. But that's a story for a different time, right? Hope that will be enough to reach. Nope. Bad brain. I mean, this is the pistol I might as well do a wield. I would still like to get caps or attempt to get caps. There is no guarantee that that will work. Be nice if we can. I do believe that going for caps early on is a huge boon. Um, that's why you see me cap so aggressively. Because I'm I'm uh, misinformed. There we go. Now have a little bit of a shotgun uh, fiasco running as well. We also have a Hercubus, or however the hell you will pronounce that uh, monstrosity. Close enough. Okay, I hate my life. This is not uh, fun. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> it's fucking awful, I tell ya. Yeah, this window needs to be cleared, but dangerous. So this is gonna be a bloody gunfight which probably sees uh, one of the people die here but otherwise. I do want somebody watching the back door. I find that quite important in case I decide to do something funny. We can see four of them. Um, I think Isdar might actually die. I'm so sorry Isdar. Looks like you're gonna be resurrected as Isdar 2.0. I do appreciate how you shot the guy in the head, though. Um, kudos to you. So, my reaction training has been cut short quite literally. This golden launcher has 120 days rockets, dear lord. That's the plan. Turns out we're doing melee after all. Shit. Oh, 
Ah, oh, I could have striked with the weapon as well. Ah, uh, that's alright. Yeah, I'm not gonna strike with that weapon, by the way. I think that's pretty dumb. Ah, screw it. It was in that moment I decided, ah, screw it. Alright, well, one died, three hostages taken, three body seized. Everybody besides Dodgy Spy got experience. I'm quite happy with that, considering how this entire mission went. I think this is the best possible result. I guess there is always better ways of doing it, but hey. I'm not good enough at all. Figure out how to do it. We're probably going to be selling the consumer goods. Got one additional vodka, we got some additional smokes, and look at that, two fish. Yay. That's good though. Uh, especially the vodka is quite nice. Tag it, tag it, and no more room in prison. Damn you cat girls. Probably sell the uh, nurses. Alright. Oh, that thing is way too quick for me to catch up. Way too quick. Hey, there you go. And it's gone again. Bye bye. Alright, let's start a recruitment. So, hoi. We're gonna get five of them right off the bat. And we can always up that even further uh, as time goes on. I'd like to get six. How will I get six? Probably by buying three more fish. But to get golden guns, you need to get the, spe uh, get the specific gun and research it, or get Nekomimi Renegades. Yeah, I know that I struggled quite a bit getting lucky uh, getting the guns. Back then, I don't think uh, there was such a thing as Nekomimi Renegades, but maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, it would be quite nice. Uh, golden guns are pretty powerful, but I think they're pretty... Like, you can't buy them. Quote me on that. Dear God, do not quote me on that. So this is gonna take us seven days. That's alright. Yeah, there's eight different ones. Ah, checks down. Ruled by the flamboyant leader of the Lognars, Captain Jack. This is the place where we... Most of our black market business. The prices are outrageous, but the town has powerful in militia. Plus, we won't get find better prices in any black market trading town, so there's no choice but to play along. Lognar villager examination. For culture and recruitment, these two are quite important, by the way. This is what blocks me from a peasant revolution, and. Well, we are not uncivilized brutes, right? So let's start with recruitment. Man, it feels pretty good though to be back uh, in the early game here. So Uber Clothing, are we gonna pick up Uber Clothing? There's a mission now where you could potentially kill or stun civilians you're supposed to protect to steal their guns. <laughs> uh, Yeah, that does sound like a pretty tough choice to get some early golden guns that accidentally went missing. Um, I have to check this out real quick. Uh, so, I'm debating between getting uber close, which is pretty good by the way. Uh, I know that scout ganger and adventure can get you quite far. Or eventually... Hello Techfest, that might be a bit early. Huh. Yeah, that's too early. I was about to say, I can already get Techfest, what the hell? Alright, let's get six super, uh, super outfits. <laughs> Looks like a new target has flown inside. I don't have any cat girls available yet, but what I could do is go to armors and equip everybody with a sailor outfit. 
Let's hope that they're planning to land somewhere fun. Nasty. No, stay away from Canada. There we go, that's better. Alright, remember, uh, we're here to kick ass and chew bubblegum. And we're all out of asses to kick. That's why we're looking for more asses to kick. Um, take, a, take a handle, take a dagger, some bandages, and take some vodka, you drop handle. I don't think we're going to be using the Cantino Freshman. We'll give her a handle and knife, and we'll give her a baseball bat. Alright, so we are the ones that will come knocking. Unfortunately, it is a day mission, which is going to make it a bit more uh, tough. And look at this icy landscape that I've the fucking no they they would land in uh icy hell well i'm gonna have to uh basically skip the first turn let's hope that not that will happen and let's move as quickly as we can so first academy nurse all the way in the distance uh there is no way for me to get to her Jesus. Okay. Guess we didn't even kill her there. I am so gonna get my ass beaten here. I do not like Miss Varnant rifle all the way down there, just chilling. Yeah, so we're probably gonna get beaten up here quite a bit. I really do not enjoy the prospects of that. You need the printer uh, service for them. Ah, fortunate. Well, let's hope that we don't get our school cracked in and uh, keep moving forward. Uh oh. Go easy on me. Thank you. Yeah, so she almost got not KO. was a very nice hit. I'm sure that there's other people who could have benefited from punching there. I do not regret it though. Thank you for not disappointing me there, Istar. I know that you do have a bad habit of disappointing me. And last but not least, we need to deal with her and she's gonna be a bit more difficult because, well... I'd love to close the distance, but it's not going to be that easy. Yeah, that's that's the problem that I had with uh, golden guns. They look very cool, but by the time that you get access to them, you have access to better options, basically. I'm units. Hmm, okay. I'm so glad that she missed all of those shots. With that, we are done. Uh, one enemy apparently surrendered. I completely missed the Tardy Spike. Missed out on experience again. We gotta keep an eye out for that. Uh, poor Tardy Spike. More baseball bats, more vermin rifles, which I'm quite happy with, and a small ship engine, and we have no more prisoners available, but selling off the three academy nurse we just got, that's us 33k. Uh, Winter Bodica is gonna be patient, 
and soft target for everybody else. That does put people out of commission for the foreseeable future. Read or die, you recall one of the lessons Dr. X gave you. Nowhere has ever been won by illiterates, even though they were often used as cannon fodder. To avoid behaving like an idiot, knowing your Budapia trolley is a paramount of importance. Consulted often. Yes. But yeah, look at that. Most of these people will be out for two or three days, with Winter Bodica being 20, out for 27 days. And there's my uber clothing. Um, I guess it's partially me. I should have pro probably, uh... Oh, fuck me. Yeah, we cannot bring down the watchtower. I probably should have uh, brought winter clothing. Newton Pogrom. Um... Very good. Ah, inspect machinery. I, uh, Captain, I speak for the runs. What's... Uh, what, is something wrong with my outfit? I'm not one of them brainer sluts. It is just practical in this heat. Got it. Anyway, we took a gander or two at the hardware around this old base. We've got that extractor to extract nukage for profit and this still to the still stuff. The old armored vaults, man. That sexy cannon does fix a bulkhead, but for now, we'll only be able to build us some basic vaults to expand our options. We'll need to contact some merchants about tools and resources. A word here, simple facilities can be built over to save time and money. If you want some hard proper work done, just contact us and Captain, for all that is holy, don't lose that menacing hull. I'm getting a lady butter just looking at it. Do I need to uh, do I talk too much here? You look like you need a smoke. Ugh. But yeah, so the extractor and the menacing hull. We can eventually also explore the tunnels, but I don't think we're quite there yet, are we? So the menacing hole is what leads us to the tiny drill, which is quite important. We can also now finally do delirium distilling, which will be more profitable in the long run uh, compared to torches. Give it one more day and I'll send some people out. Then again, I say that very happily, but do I have one more day? Maybe. Maybe I do. Alright, so, with five people available to us, which is quite a few people, by the way. I don't know anything about the bell outfit, but I'm pretty sure it's better than what we currently have. But yeah, with this in hand, I probably also, as a side note, I'm just clicking everything right now, I probably want to try to take... Um, Ganger outfit with me. Was it Ganger? Was it... Adventurer? It might have been Adventurer. Yeah, I want to take the Adventurer outfit with me because it does give me a little bonus to meleeing, which is exactly what I'm going to be relying on. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Then again, Scout might also be pretty good with uh, energy regen. Oh, we will use some scouts. I guess I also could keep the sailor outfit, but... And what? No. No, 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 no. Uh, let's be logical about this. I am going to be needing um, adventure. Like, we're going to be doing melee in close quarter combat. That plus five melee uh, bonus can make the difference between winning and dying. Alright. Let's go. Look at all that inventory space. Boy, have I missed that. Okay, so the plan is fairly simple. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna clear out this watchtower, and you look pretty naked, actually. Right. You guys will be fine, don't worry about it. Watch me kill my cat girls, like, right off the bat. I mean, I'd say it would be pretty funny, right? But no, I don't think it would be funny, it would be terrible. Okay, so where on the map are we? I 
feel like that's always a question I should be asking myself and I don't ask it often enough. Yeah. Oh my god, the sounds that these things make nowadays help. There's the watchtower, that's where we're gonna be heading. Um. Okay, alright. So either they say ya yeah, or they ring a bell. Um curious. Right, we'll try to use as much cover as we can, and I feel like I'm missing somebody. No, we're My life, if that's what I asked for. <laughs> Should be somebody outside, right? I thought there will be somebody outside. I guess I stand corrected. Where's my other cat girl? Right here. So the difficult part will be blowing that thing up, but we'll see. We'll see how that plays out. Okay, it looks like there's nobody outside. I'm not used to that whatsoever. Oh my god, I swear to god, if there's gonna be zombies inside, I am gonna be so upset. Right, you're not allowed to uh, attack sideways. Well, let's see how this goes. Nothing to report yet. Please tell me I can kill this quite easily. I'm very worried I might actually need to bring in heavy equipment. Right? Say a singular thing. Damn knew what this person was uh, taking a toilet break. Classic, am I right? Okay, so I can see two enemies. Ah, right here. Have her hiding in the corner. I would have done the same thing. Right off the armor. Yeesh. That's what I fear the most. Mm. Yeah. Ah, damn it. Okay, I was kind of hoping that the cat girl wouldn't uh, knock her down, but there, here we are. So one night driver didn't get any experience, but the other three or four did, so... I believe the proper saying is big win. And here you go, we already got a money purse which we could potentially sell in four researchers for 26k each. Make it rain cash. I'm gonna kick out all researchers besides one. Oh. I'm gonna kick out two researchers. And we're gonna keep the other two. I find it very important to get them researched as soon as possible for that additional um, infamy boost, but otherwise just mostly just blocking the, the secondary topics, and there's a lot of them. But yeah. One step at a time. <laughs> Onboard sp Spruce Crusher. Love the name. <laughs> ah, recruitment. We can look for potential crew members among our fellow Ubers who visit Jack's town, or use our brain or context to import them. Runs. Those girls who are either unwilling or unable to carry a gun can be hired to operate or workshop. 
They take 5k monthly pay. Brainers, weird girls who can be hard to stuff for laps for 100k monthly uh, payment because yikes. And then there's hands, those who are willing to fight. And diverging paths. Captain, we're faced with a question. Should we keep our all female crew purity and only admi uh, admit mills on special rules? How's that a question? I mean, we know the answer to that. It's a peasant revolution. <laughs> I mean, it's not even the real question. <laughs> ah, there we go. I don't think I'll be able to catch up to that thing in time. It just grazed my radar. The menacing hull, an old looking hilarious fire ship the brainers used to escape from their confinement. Regretfully, after they crashed it, it's not airworthy, but we think we can make it fly again, eventually. Besides having a sufficient workspace, it will likely involve cracking the secret of the tiny drill that came with it. Speaking about that, we probably should actually be loading something extra, right? Didn't I need a additional extractor if I wanted to have the workshop space to um, work on the tiny drill? Okay, that's a lot of things we still gotta pick up. Ooh. But yeah, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm so sorry. Let's let's keep rolling. <laughs> yeah, there's still quite a bit of research, and I don't even know if I should uh, bump the amount of researchers I have. Yelling sparklet. I want to attempt to stalk it, and I know that we cannot, as it's moving too quickly. Ah, we are done recruiting the outlaw. Ah, shoot, it's moving too quick again. <gasps> I just realized I made a very, very large mistake. Um, shit. I only am running with five people. I could have had six people. Fucking snow! Fuck off! God, this is making me so angry. You guys have no idea. It's like no matter where I go, there's always snow. Also, we landed right in front of the UFO, so yay! Rip, cat girl. Dealing with him is going to be near impossible, also he uses a shotgun, which kind of scares me. Oh jeez, no need to hit me. I'm very worried about cooked. <sighs> very worried about cooked. God damn it. Oh my 
God, I might have made a giant mistake being here. Entire mission is boned. So, um, yeah, about this, this entire not safe coming, this is like literally the reason where, uh, the, the, the moment where I just want to say like, well, fuck, had my chance. Let's just not do this. I can't believe that shotgun actually got me. Um, yeah, Kakarot's are fragile. I'm very much aware of that. Just a little shit in here that, uh, grabbed me at a very nasty angle, that guy. But yeah, the fact that this is yet another uh, snow mission really just uh, screwed me up. Like, that's that's the sad reality. There. Uh. Fuck. Yeah, you know what? Screw this mission. We're just not gonna do it. That's like the whole thing that bothers me about it. Um. Yeah, cooked meat is now freezed. Uh, because it keeps happening in the Arctic and I'm not prepared for it. Because I'm just... Like... Yeah, just anything that has this terrain is snowy. That's what I gotta just assume. Easy peasy. So let's just go back to our outfits. We're tribal, because I'm done freezing to death. And these two are gonna freeze. I mean, I, I like it. I feel like the weather effects do add a nice touch. Just anticipating the right weather effect is really uh, difficult. Okay, we do not talk about acid rain. Fuck acid rain. Uh, we have a young Uber. Hi. Fuck acid rain, I'm telling you right here. Hate it. Uh, broken wagon, a local person's wagon broke down, we helped them out, everybody was happy, yay. What do we need to get armor for the cat? That's a good question, I don't even know. The first one will probably be combat armor. And does it sound a little uh... Yeah, they don't really get any good armor until late game. I think he might be off uh, quite well with holo suits. I think holo suits benefit cat girls quite well, but holo suits is uh... oh, it's not easy to obtain this. Until then, they remain a very fragile uh, fighting force. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this shit, guys. Oh, this is not in freezing terrain. I really assumed it was in freezing terrain. Hello. Oh. Uh, we'll keep you in the back. Yeah, this is an increasing terrain. Uh, Gorilla. True, very true. That actually might be a way better one. Just a little bit of a puzzle, nothing to worry about. And who doesn't like puzzling? That's way better hit chances. If I can get down here to punch her, that would be great, but I can't, so that is not great. I knew it. I knew there was a second one. Gotcha. Alright, so let's uh, hunt down the last one and then we can go home.
Let's hunt down the last. Anyways, uh, yeah, there you go. Something a little bit of pre-planning can't fix, right? So we're gonna try to uh, approach her from all angles and see what, what angle is going to stick. And look at that, that angle actually did stick. Uh, well, that was nice. No snow. I like that. I appreciate that. Everybody likes no snows. Um, it out. Ferment rifles. I don't like ferment rifles. I feel like it's a pretty good early early uh, early weapon to have. And we got an additional 60k just from selling them versus again this is the whole reason why I try to go for caps. It's a nice uh, income. By the way, how is my monthly projection looking? Don't be worried. Or how do you make a pirate girl furious? You take away the P. Oh no, I don't get it, Sindrian. I'm sorry. That would leave her irate. I don't get it. Oh, I feel stupid. <laughs> but thank you for that. Thank you for that, uh, Sandrine. Appreciate it. You're doing fine. Everybody's doing fine. Ah, oh, yeah, shit. Uh, cash wise, I am worried about cash wise. I'm very worried about uh, our cash situation. Current projections is that we're gonna lose. Irate girl. I think, I think I am not associating... I, I'm not getting the irate part. Stupid. God damn it! now I need to google it because I feel so silly. Yeah, there you go, I didn't even know... Uh... I don't know irritation, I did not know irate. But no, there, there, that's good. Good joke, appreciate it. <laughs> Still pretty good though. It just takes me well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we are having a deficit of roughly about 400k, so we shouldn't be hiring any new people, or at least brainers, for that uh, fact. Matter of fact. Right back at the Pompey as you see a page with a picture and some silly numbers too. Next, a text that makes no sense. Is this some clue? Riddle. What is it? A loss of time. Just a vomit or poor writing. Pointless words and nothing more. Yes. <gasps> The peasant revolution! You woke up with a groundbreaking idea. Whatever number of gals or assorted adventurers you can raise for your cause, it's not big. Big picture is the peasants. They're everywhere. They're the backbone of the Earth society. After all, they provide food. If only they weren't so passive. But with their bravest girls as the vanguard and your gals as the tip of the spear, they can be roused from this slumber. And the world will never be the same. You have communicated your grand ideas to a council of village, village elders. Most of them said you're insane, but you did manage to rout a small cadre of idealists. It is enough for now. In time, you will believe truly it will snowball into an avalanche. Oh god, you're going for the revolution. Yes. Yes, we are. Ah, not just the peasant revolution. Grey Codex on top of it with a dumbass captain to lead the, the masses. Yeah, uh, we're gonna have a great time. So, we got access to what exactly? There were three things that popped up. Oh, two things. The Ritual of Rebirth. Which we probably should be picking up. And we got access to... Ah, scavengers. Oh, 
help peasants milk got the benefit of being far faster research and thus getting access to more masses of soldiers faster. Uh, shoot. But why no milk turns gray? Plus milk gets the brain tank because mills are, you know, it's it's ex-pirates, which is all about the gals, not guys. You don't need brain tank, you just need punch, stab and shoot. Don't, don't think, just shoot. Anyways, uh, so yeah, we have scavengers, which depends on peasant revolution, which leads to the peasant party have a uh, harvester scavenger and scavenging operations together with the scavenge supplies extraction. Let's go. Magic. As long as I get cat girls, I'm happy. Great. Or culture, we can uh, we choose to be pirates and confront re a reality with our ideals. So what makes a pirate here and now? Violence. Hard to argue with. The, if it doesn't work for you, you're not using enough principle. Cunning. Because working harder is less profitable than working smarter. Especially when it's others who do the work for us. Survival. Because look at us. We be like top of the food pyramid. Here it is. Who are we? Why are we here? Then you start asking questions like, how can I live better? And finally you get to, how can I rule the world? There are four, uh, these are the four cornerstones of pirate culture. All are important, but pursuing each will take some time, so tell us what you want us to do next. And if they aren't getting hit, <laughs> get shot one. Thanks, sister. Thanks. That's, that, that's roughly about sums up my entire cat girl experience. I mean, obviously, because the game is rigged. It has nothing to do with me. Can we buy rare earth elements already? No. Yep. Well, meanwhile, Kels can thank tank runs to the face still continue to walk. In some cases. The ritual of rebirth, a new idea, requires a new kind of people. To become real revolutionaries, your faithful must die and be born again. This ritual involves a spiritual trip to find the new self, resulting in this soldiers' attributes being reshuffled. Those who have uh, least to lose have the most to gain. It also gives them the revolutionary trait. And then we have our trainings and transformations. My oh my. Uh, let's not talk about Loknarsh. And how many we went through because the game's rigged. Um, prison rope? Ruffian, but I really do want the young Uber. Yeah. But also because they're harder to spot. <laughs> uh, hey, I treat all my people equal, alright? I treat all my people equal, just don't get hit. And if you do, then you are just not good enough for me. Uh, surrender government agent, that is okay. Next one we're yeah, uh, running towards a cat crow in hand. I do wonder if Bell is just the worst option to pick here, but let's see. I'm forgetting something, what am I forgetting? Yeah, there's also that. I mean, okay, you know, just to kind of reminisce about the first time that I played this mod. I remember trying to think like, oh, we're going to be super sneaky and I'll have a Loknar take shots at people that I spot. And they can't see my Loknar and they just knew where my Loknar was and they just naded them from like across the map. Every fucking time. Why am I playing this mod again? We're going to have to do all of that shit again. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. It used to work like that until sniper spotter code was implemented and now lock is useless. Yeah. Yeah. I had snipers on the other side of the map and smoke gets shot. Yeah. Last, isn't it? For me it was like, every single time that happened, I'm like, okay, the next time it's gonna be different. And then they did it again, and again, and again. Yet somehow I wanted to believe that uh, 
we could get away with it. I think I ended up using cats. Like, I used cats, which were very hard to spot, and I used them as pure spotter units. And I would use my craft. I think that's what I did. I would camp in my craft and use it for cover. Because I just did not know any other way of doing it. It's awful. Oh boy. But it was 100% worth it, right? We, by the way, are on the right side of the map. Headed towards the right corner. If we can clear out this corner, we can head down and up. Let's see. We did hear a door open. Yeah, I cannot memorize that to save my life, so usually I just give up and just uh, die. Hmm? Fucking guard dogs, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, more guard dogs. Fuck, what, are we dealing with an entire fucking army of guard dogs? Please no. Like, my, my units are gonna get, uh... Just, just mowed, mowed to death. Ugh. That girls versus dog boys will win. I know the answer to that question, I don't like it. Yeah, every single fucking ninja. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. I'm I'm still traumatized by uh, me, you know, playing X pirates and it was August and there were like twelve bases all across Africa. Oh my god. Eat shit, Togo. Eat shit. Why the fuck is there a dog on the roof? I don't like the fact that there's 500 doggos about. Um, like, on one hand, I just want to camp here. On the other hand, I don't want to camp here. Watch there be a doggo right behind me, wouldn't that be funny? The answer is no, it'd be fucking awful. Oof, oof, oof. Be careful now, Cinderian. Don't get bent. Ah, <sighs> fuck me. Oh. Guys, this is it. <laughs> That's a lot of this out, but dog on roof. <laughs> Yeah, that would be pretty clever. Explain all these god-awful dogs. I mean, we'll be fine, right? Stay back. Stay back. My god, he's going for the cat girl. Oh, fuck me. I believe the proper term is bad doggy. Bad doggy. My god, just going for the cat girl. Can't believe it. Okay, as long as we don't spread out too far. Might be able to deal with these doggos quite easily. Though this cat girl will need more ammo. Um. Yeah. Uh, eh, eh, eh. We'll be fine.
I really just am hoping that these uh, bastards will try to get close to me uh, to the point where I can actually like engage them without them being able to bite me. I don't know how much time units they exactly have, but uh, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna bite me, he's gonna bite me, he's gonna bite me, stop, stop, stop! Atta boy. Who's a good to go? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Where did the other doggos go, though? Here, doggy, doggy, doggy. Fuck. I lost track of the dogs. Who let the dogs out? Because he deserves a beating. Nope. So, it's this warehouse area. Always gotta pay attention to the doggo in my back. Like this. Where the fuck did that thing go? Hmm. I don't know why I'm so afraid of a tiny doggo. I just kinda have this feeling that they will just rip me apart. It hasn't even made any sounds anymore either. Party spike? No. Rumped off the fucking roof as well. You must have been there for quite a while. Can't believe that they got tardy spike. Can't believe it. Ah. <sighs> I should have known he was on the roof. I mean. I guess there was very little I could do at that point. Got two government agents though, that's okay I guess. Yeah, very little I could have done there. I'm pretty sure uh, what was just the case is the dog was just chilling on the roof and just happened to fall down, but eh. Maybe you sniff. Ah, uh, sucks, but it is what it is. <laughs> I'm not happy about it. Context the scavengers. Our lines with the bottom of the Earth's food chain resulted in better understanding about how it works. Peasants have close ties with other class of countryside dwellers, the scavengers. These people, as you might have guessed, scavenge everything the higher classes throw away as useless and try to bring it back to some semblance of working shape, which also benefits the notoriously poor peasants. Or packing of scavengers in the form of goods, intel and technology exchange, however, will undoubtedly prompt the ire of bandits, who mainly live off robbing these both groups. Well, I fucking hate bandits anyway, so... Nothing of value was lost, right? This hole, by the way, is quite important for me. Shit, so much is important. Okay, Grey Codex, that's up next. Grey Codex. Let's start with weirdness. Well, violence, because it's right here. Then we have. We have cunning. So I want to research those things next. Ah. Uh, already spiked nonetheless. Uh, yeah, there's not much I can do about them. You guys saw that. I saw that. You guys probably also saw that. Okay.
Is researching violence just having a bar fight in the lab? Yes. Pay for the revolutionary threat. Yes. Yes, that is something that we're gonna have to do fight quite soon as well. Come on, please still be there, please still be there, please still be there. Ah, I think they left already. Yeah, they just left. On. Excellent. Wait, where did they land? Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh fuck, I think I know where they landed. I'm not happy about it. That firing is pretty bad actually. Yeah, we need to get some uh, additional help, to put it quite nicely. Some additional help. By the way, what's better? Let's see. Flint lock, B2 piercing. I don't know anything about small revolver. Yes, I do. Small revolver has a range of how much? 14. Flintlock pistol has a range of 17. 36 time units. 48 for aimed. 27 here. This takes a flat firing. This actually gives a little bit of benefit. So I guess we're going to be using a few revolvers. Small baby revolvers. For those who do not know how to aim. I've really, really been enjoying this actually. It feels nice to be back. Hmm, actually has the best aim here. Uh, matter of fact, I don't know anything about the varmint rifle. Shoot. I do believe the varmint rifle is 100% uh, your firing, so it's not accurate, but I do believe it's more superior to the musket. Okay, so we are here. It's, by the way, not old. I actually figured it would be snowy. I can already see one enemy. Where's the craft? Down here. So this is a small UFO. That, that's something to be mindful of. It is mountainous, which is both an advantage and a disadvantage. Which is very much a disadvantage. Okay, so... That was literally the last action I could take there. Yeah. Why did I not give anybody a knife? That is beyond me. Shit. I'm sorry, Astar, but you're gonna have to take one for the team. You're right, an X will be a bit better. Will be a bit better. Ah, shit. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we gotta clear those two out. We're gonna take this one step at a time. Because I think this might actually be more than I can chew up. Let's take it one step at a time. by the way is problematic. I think they're actually gonna mow me down. Not yet. That's good. Yeah, 
Yeah, that is that concern. That is a very large concern, actually. Right. It is time for us to pull out the axes. Also, I do believe that Isdor would need to drop some stuff. And I would love to flank him, but I don't think I can flank him reliably at the moment. This might be too much for me to chew off. That's where the security guard went. Gotcha. Okay, alright. Um Last chance. That's not too bad. I do have a Nekomimi. We'll potentially take a... Okay, shot. Fantastic. And then we hide again. Uh, this is the only way that I can do it if I know that they had their reaction shot. But otherwise, uh, I should not risk it. Risk it. Because the biscuit is not worth, worth the risk. So, we know about three of them. Geo. Why does this feel so high intense? Like, I remember there used to be times where I would scoff at these people and just charge in. That's, I guess, the exciting thing, right, about the new uh, playthrough. Let's see. Things that used to uh, seem simple become really difficult. Ah, shit. Really was hoping that would work. That will take too long. Okay. It's back is turned towards me, which is, I guess, a good thing. Um, I think we're gonna be safe here. Maybe he'll be able to get an angle on me. I hope that's not the case. I don't know where the security guard went, but he is bleeding. Um, I'd love to shoot him in the back, but I don't think it would be enough to uh, instantly kill him. We'll see how it goes. That's good. It's very good. Looking towards me. I can probably just run up to him and actually punch him in this particular uh, scenario. And did we just spot the security guard? We did spot the security guard. It. I was about to say, don't make me regret this, but good. Yeah, so the next plan is to take out these two and then we're going to deal with the craft in this particular case. Hmm. I think this was a mistake. We'll see. But I think that was a mistake. Hmm, where did they go? Where did they go? He seems to be moving below me. Curious. Uh, slow and sad. Uh, fuck me. That's not what was supposed to happen there. I was gonna say slow and steady wins the race as I was slowly like gonna move over here. Then I want to check that out and I accidentally move because I'm apparently not that smart. I think I might be better off waiting here. Don't come back and shoot me, don't come back and shoot me. Oh 
god, that was a hundred times worse. Would you shot me? Did you shoot me? Looks like you might have shot me. Another, you're dead now. I don't like those distances, I really, really don't. Security guard is all the way over here. I can actually charge him, try to axe him in the back. Uh, but I don't have any backup is the unfortunate part, so let's wait one more turn and then try it once more. I did hear some sounds coming from the inside. Gonna wait for backup though. Always wait for backup. Fuck me. Yeah. I figured running alligator would uh, not make it. Shit. Oh my god. Oh god, he's there as well. Right. Yeah. Oh my god, this did not turn out well once it turned out with those two uh, coming out of the craft. I should have just gone for it, you know, I should not have waited as long as I did. I can't believe it, that was my mistake, I should have just gone for it. Fuck. Anyways, both of them are on fire, let's hope that they panic. That's the whole reason why I put them on fire, but they're gonna go for my cat girls and kill off my cat girls, which basically ruins this entire mission, let's be fair. Well, there you go. He did not sound too happy about it. Oh, he actually is burning to a crisp. Ooh. That's not good. This is not good. This is not good. We're gonna have to apply heightened aggression here and I don't like it. He did not come outside, did he? He did not come outside. Oh, great. I would have loved to cap him, but... Uh, I currently am not in a state to actually be actively thinking about capping people. I need better scouting capabilities. Cat girls are a limited scout option, though. Yeah, as long as I don't hear it... You're on fire. Damn it. Yeah, so it doesn't look like we're gonna be capping anymore. That's fine. I mean, I guess it isn't fine, but I'll have to live with it. Oh! Somebody out there. Well, at least he panicked. Wait, baseball bats are one-handed? Can you please stop burning there for a moment, uh, Pelio? Well, maybe we can get a guild hostess. We definitely cannot get a guild hostess. I knew it. God damn it. I don't have much of a choice there if I actually wanted to fight back. I just hope she survives. I think she's gonna burn up. This is uh, this has been a complete and total disaster. We only lost one hand. Um, one enemy surrendered, three hostages taken. It's quite unfortunate how this all went down. I think I could have done it a hundred times better. 
Yeah, it's it's a little too early to do this UFO. I got so sidetracked I didn't even pay attention anymore to chat, but uh, I got cocky. I got incredibly cocky and I had to pay a seizable price for it. It's alright. I mean, kinda isn't, but we're here. January craft weapon secured, blast RNG. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that was quite lucky. And even sell the ship engine for a hefty 150k. But we'll see. Look at this. Just, just look at this. If I were to sell these things, this, this basically will supply me for an entire month. Now he needs ammo. Let's talk about. Look at that. Buy for well, 250 rounds, easy peasy. Uh, no more room in prison. Patient murderer trigger happy. We lost running alligator though. I'm losing people a bit too quickly. Once we have a young Uber, we can recruit a new one. What you need is an air car. Yes, I do. Um, I can't remember exactly how we could get an air car. Ah, car thieves, which requires a fuck ton of research. Cool. Get there. The young Uber. Young impressionable Ubers we can encounter during our voyages can be quite easily convinced to join our cause. To do so, we need to send them to the workshop for a run to perform some convincing. Then wait a day for a new recruit to get ready for the biggest adventure of her short lived life. The bonus will gain some data about our surrounding runs. <laughs> can't hear you. Please. Can't hear you over all these gals I'm using. Won't that be like the biggest meme? I go peasant revolution, I just keep using gals. God, that would be so good. <laughs> Captain who? Hello, my captain. I'm your favorite best brainer. For a reason, I came up with an idea how to enhance your report for the crew. We'd be much better off. If it worked like a well-oiled machine. However, to do that, we first need to establish what do they exactly expect, uh, what we exactly expect of them. To that end, I have stumbled upon something called psychology. It helped me to prepare a test for you to take, and I advise you to deal with this soon. Captain Who? Your FPP handed you a personality test. What? Fuck me. <laughs> well, obviously we are gonna be dumbass captain. Uh, here we go, alright, we are set. The dumbass captain! Superstar captain, wait what? We are a superstar captain? You're charming, strong and vigorous, you're the best captain that ever was. The world is full of good stuff that can be yours if you dare to grab it. Simple pleasures, that's all there is to life. Many think you're smarter than that, but you know that people are all motivated by the same things. Food, sex, violence, you certainly are. Stay on top. Charming or brutal as needed, and you will uh, have the best pickings. Throw leftovers to your underlings and they will love you. So I guess we're a superstar captain in that case. Alright. Huh. Curious. Uh, anything related with that? Nope. But I guess summarizes that. That's good. Uh, give me a second. I'll be right back. Yes.
Alright, so, yes, where were we? Right, peasants. Lots of people dying of peasants. Speaking about that, any chance that I have access to better peasant armor? Matter of fact, even better. Um, I want to go to Condaminations and check out the Revolutionary, because this is a new Condamination that we should have access to quite soon. There is beginning. There is beginning to the revolution, but there is no end to it. Yet no time can be wasted. History doesn't wait. Soldiers with this trait are true. The Deacon of the Revolution, filled with fervor, the proper sense of urgency, and belief in the inevitable victory. Which gives them more bravery, more time units and reactions, and less freshness. Um, every person you use, I believe they, they only get it after we've done the transformation, right? The Ritual of Rebirth. Yeah, the reroll stats. Which is going to be quite interesting, isn't it? Because it requires me to know who is actually... Um, who rolled pretty well and who rolled pretty shitty. Still, I think we should get it on everybody, right? Hmm... Uh, there's a lengthy explanation about rerolling sets on the forums, but the TLTR is roll. Roll, roll, roll. Okay. Oh, here we go. And uh oh, we are out of moonshine. Well, that's okay. We can make more moonshine. We're gonna be shining that moon until it is positively golden. Ah, yeah, fuck me. Shit. <laughs> uh, well, maybe if it wants to land nearby. Yeah, so I could actually use hunter outfits for these gals as well, or these hunters. Let's see if that actually is going to benefit me, but otherwise... Uh, I think scavenger armor is now free for peasants. That's actually pretty good. Let's see, scavenger. Uh, we can actually buy scavenger, yeah. There we go, look at that. But I don't think it is free free, is it? I think you get the scavenger outfit. Well, maybe it's free. Maybe, let's, let's uh, quickly check it out. Maybe I've just missed something, that's all. Nope, we gotta buy it, but we can buy it, that should not be an issue. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Go over here, see if we can maybe spot it again. Might have also just effed off into the distance, which is perfectly fine, and we will be buying 10 scavenger outfits. Fuck me. You know, I'm not gonna say it, but... Alright. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, there's a few problems with this. I think we're not going to be doing this. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to peek and then say bye-bye. Matter of fact, no. No, we're not even going to peek. We're just going to say bye-bye. Because it's a snowy area and... Oh, the craft is so close by. And, yeah, uh, people are just going to freeze to death. Oh my god, look at that! The rain cups. Maybe we'll land somewhere else again, but... I doubt but... I might actually just, for the sake of uh, simplicity on my end, just have people walk around the tribal the entire time. Uh, we'll see if it lands. Or slows down at least. Wow, that was actually pretty quick. A real quick scavenger. Does not really enjoy cold. 
it or does it enjoy cold? It does really enjoy cold, gotcha. That uh, seems to just be passing over. Okay, bye. Violence, as it is said, nobody can exist without violence and retain sanity. Learning to release violence without losing honor is what makes us civilized. As we do battle, our enemies will do their best to take us down, and ruthless brutality is the most direct answer. You can devise weapons to help uh, with that worthy endeavor, but it is up to you, Captain, to hone the gal's strength to come up with effective tactics. Bounty hunting! <laughs> uh, maybe someday. The distress call has been intercepted. Alright, so yeah, we are actually going to be equipping the hunter outfits over here. That is not hunter, by the way. No hunter outfits. Uh, these two still seem to be wounded, unfortunately, so... You've been selling off junk to hire brainers, right? Let's take care of that, yeah, let's let's do that. I've actually been highly concerned about my cash. Because my cash is not oh look at that junk, very delicious. My cash situation is not that great. It's probably what I gotta be doing though. I don't know if I should be selling off ship engines. Small ship engines. I think I will be fine for now selling these off. It's 850k. I don't really have that much to sell off apparently. Also higher cost DS, yes, I should actually be selling those people off. I mostly just fear bankruptcy. Like I actually can sell for government agent, can't I? That's a good cash grab. I want to keep one at least so I can research them. Same over here. It's uh, yeah, it's okay. 96k, acceptable. Uh, but more importantly, I'm worried about my monthly cost. So as you can see, I'm running a deficit of 500k. Six hundred K almost. So if I hire two brainers and hose, oh jeez, here we go with the pimping. I have to pay six hundred K that leaves me with five hundred K, which means I can get three brainers. It is currently the twenty ninth. I'm gonna wait. I'm mm, no not enough living space, I can only buy two brainers. I really wanted the third one, but yeah, living space is also a limitation, isn't it? Ah, fuck me. Might have hired too many people, which means I gotta expand with the crew quarter. Yeah, the Shadow Master lo uh, Lottery. Well, we have yet to see a singular hoe, so. It's the burrow that I got a built in the particular case. Ah, oh, the burrow is relatively cheap. Yep, the burrow is relatively cheap. Anyways, shipwrecked gal, let's go. So the downside is, this is going to be in a snowy area. So I kind of want to move quick enough. Wow, that's lucky. That's very lucky. Do the brainers show up in the maintenance before they arrive? Uh, I think they do. No, 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 no. Oh, fucking hell. I just saved as well before I did this mission, didn't I? I 
actually assumed that... Yeah, I actually figured that they would show up uh, whenever they arrived at the base. That's dumb. My end, very dumb. Fuck. And I was hoping that because they would arrive within like 72 hours, uh, by the time they arrive, I can finally uh, use them at the start of the month without having to pay extra, without, you know, wasting some additional time. Well, so much for that. Hello, Highwayman, how are you doing? Star? God damn it, Istar. God fucking damn it, Istar. Unbelievable. He had one job. Don't even do that. And now he's just gonna get beaten to death. This is, uh, it's nice. Yeah, I had one job. Oh, apparently I got lucky and he decided to just go haywire. Oh yeah, I should just give the peasant shotguns. Problem solved. Alright, this star. You got one job. Ah, fuck it. I know his star. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Main school safe. Oh, classic. Oh my god, there's more? I need to get medicine over there to Isdar. Shoot. Hit highwayman. My cat girls are gonna just slowly but surely die as well. Um, I don't even think I can use healing for other people. This is only healing self. That last fucking guy. Come on. Ah, there he is. There he is. Finally. Let's finish this. No! Wait, does that not self healing? Son of a f fuck. Not bandages were self healing, actually. Silly me. Well, at least it's good uh, experience for the peasants, right? I mean, if they actually get to use it. Alright, can we please stop the bleeding now? Thank you. Alright, well, uh, experience for everybody. All according to plan. Big win. Big win. I hate how this guy just ran away. Yeah. 
There you go, problem solved, nobody died, we looted whatever we got, I'm happy with this. But, yeah, this is starting to become quite problematic for me. We got the castaway go, I guess. Patient murder and soft target. Not great. Definitely not great. Especially now that the next mission is popping up. Please send help. I don't know if prisoner outfits are better than bell outfits, but we'll go with prisoner. Bell feels kinda empty, naked. Ooh, those are civilians. My favorite. Whoa, oh, where are you going? Ah, shoot. Alright, at least they are back. I'm getting a bit too loud. I'm pretty sure that might actually upset the baby. Actually, I'm gonna go with first again. Uh oh, here we go. All right. So. Our monthly report is we are considered the brigands. Uh, our income has increased by 30k, but our infamy bonus is 800k, by the way. I completely forgot about the infamy bonus. But the maintenance of 1 million, our final balance is 788k, which means we just made 100k profit. I was thinking we were losing 600k. Survival, it's a dangerous world out there, and we need to learn how to get tougher and live off the land. To achieve that, we need weapons and armor, and preferably such that we don't need many resources to be made. The band aid kit, smithing, bow summary, protective gear, camouflage, and animal skinning. Uh, expanding with the Boros. Once the Boros is up and running, we can get more brainers. Let's see. Yeah, I could really use a missile, to be fair. Ah, shit. Alright, with two more trainers, we're also gonna be working on running, and I guess one thing I really, really, really wanna do is... Get more trainers in here. An easy way for me to do so. A shambler hunt. Uh-oh. I mean, I guess it might be good training, but uh-oh. God, do I even dare to do this? <laughs> By the way, I probably should be getting the last few uh, cat girls. Oh yeah, wait, no no living spaces, right. Bolts, military shotgun, submachine gun, old revolver, assault pistol. Assault off. Let's go with assault off as well. It's all gonna be about shotguns right now. All gonna be about shotguns. Remember, Chambler hunts can be quite nasty. Especially when done during nighttime. Uh. The style or success last month have made the group boisterous. They organized a grand brawl at the hangar. Fists were flying everywhere and it was glorious. That's good. Good job, everybody. Proud of you. Yeah, so we're gonna be running shotguns, uh, shotguns galore. Uh, do I have access to normal shells? 
I don't, do I? I don't. Ah, uh, AP shells are this. Uh, that is not great. I'll have to think about it. Okay, remember, uh, this thing can actually slaughter my people. So yeah, I'd like to be a bit skeptical. Jesus Christ, okay. Um... The other one is way too close, by the way. That's why I need to step all the way out here. Yeah, stay back, stay back. It's a seagull close. was a bit easier than expected. Wait, that was the same guy, right? Must be. Ah, uh, nothing wrong with some Jedi hunty. Hunting. Jedi hunty. Huh. Ah, with people with zero aim. Still needs experience. Oh well, yeah, you say. All right. All right. Now that everybody has experience, let's see if we can kill him. I think that was probably me misclicking. Uh. Oh, we're getting there. Uh Oh, it's dead. Who was just taken lots of experience for us? Honestly with that much Yeah, that's that's uh, what you'd think. Turns out I didn't even hit a singular guy. But that's okay. Uh, the hunting went great. The training went great. Everybody's happy. I'm happy. Um... <laughs> oh, hello. Bye. Uh, he might be planning to land somewhere. It might actually be... Uh, might be beneficial for me to try and at least see what the hell he's up to. Not the best of setups, but I'll take it. Okay. Wait, we are tracking a small, yeah, small UFO. Yep. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about at all. Um, there might be a good chance that I'm just simply gonna pull out. You know, just to mentally prepare people. Um, yeah. I'm not feeling very positive at the moment. About my prospects. That's just me. 
You know, I'm, 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 I'm a bit of a uh, pessimist. In case you couldn't tell. The fucking bastard. Why does your cat girl have 102 melee? I don't know, all my cat girls have like 102 melee. Uh, 96 melee, 102 melee, and I'm sure they're not an uh, exception. Alright, so we have a Geo over here. Ooh, okay. It's no crits. <laughs> yeah, they are good at stabbing. Uh, they're also quite good at dying, unfortunately. Where did that one guy go? So there is a good chance that I might actually just simply, uh, from this point forward, start thinking about giving up and pulling back. Uh, because I have one very big problem with this map at the moment, which is just my lack of warm clothing for my cat girls. Yeah, if they survive long enough. for him to come towards me. <laughs> yes, exactly. Thank you. Neville gets it. Yowzers. Actually, see me around the corner. That's okay. I can see you around the corner as well. My corner. That is an axe in your back. Okay, so I'm pretty sure there's more people inside this building. There usually is. Uh, we also have the craft on the right, which might uh, be a problem. We'll see. Time to get started with or a peasant revolution, right? One dead person at a time. Oh fuck. fuck! I was being sarcastic when I said it. The <laughs> subject we need heavy artillery. When don't we, right? Don't do it, don't do it. Oh, thank god he did not do it. Oh, Jesus. You gotta be kidding me, right? Um... Sounds like somebody needs to use more grenades. Boy, if only I had people who could actually throw grenades here. Yeah, I don't know if we're actually gonna survive this. What? What? How? How? Oh me! Ah! 
That's bullshit. I mean... Over is not real. That pisses me off. That's dumb. That is so dumb. I will have to check out this building as well. Man, that pisses me off. So let's just assume that the building is empty. Move further down here. I know there are some of them inside the UFO. Man, that pisses me off though. Because it feels like I just lost a cat crawl uh, in full cover. Despite the fact that I want to be so careful, again, a grenade got, uh, got her killed. She, that was the fucking second line there, Knuffle, together with the peasant. Second line, behind cover where he can't see him, and then I will take a step back, throw out the grenade right on top of him. Oof, gone, but he just died although I shot right through cover. Looked right through cover as well. That's how you know you're uh, being uh, cheated. I feel cheated. You know, it's fun. We used to uh, have eight cat girls, now we'll probably have one the best. Oh, how the times fly, right? So there's only a single entry point into the craft. Um, I guess to an extent that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I want to take it uh, nice and slow, but I don't have the time to take it nice and slow. a door being opened somewhere. Fuck me. There is somebody up here. Well, let's hope that they panic. Because I'm not gonna go back to deal with that. Man, I, I don't. It feels like forever ago, doesn't it? Boring. Oh, thank god, she didn't uh, go berserk. Hi! Uh, don't mind me. I'm kinda busy at the moment. Killing you? Pretty good. I hope that kill will uh, satisfy some people. Don't mess with the killed hostess yet. have only cat girls then like suffer as there's no ubers to tank hits of the cuteness I know uh, at one point whenever I was doing the other playthrough I got the puma sisters and I felt so awful I got one of the two puma sisters killed and that, that hit me right in the hurts right in the feels hm. I'd love to stun her but I don't think I can In my defense, I tried. In my defense, I tried. That should probably start the panic cycle. That is really bad, by the way. We'll see. Now look how much HP we're slowly but surely losing. Thank god he didn't come for me. Oh! Good. Very good. I 
I deserve this. I deserve this. I, I rushed in recklessly. And I think that basically uh, ends me trying to uh, clear this out as well. I got so lucky that he didn't kill me there. Um, I got so incredibly lucky he didn't kill me there. Fetch me up. And so incredibly lucky. All right, I'm gonna send one of the uh, one of these gals to go all the way back and deal with whoever is hiding up here. Ah! Actually, never mind. He might have just panicked. <laughs> yeah, good point. Good point, Cinderian. Does hurt though, does hurt quite a bit. Guild representative, that's like a hundred K. What even have a proper stun weapon available either? Then again, you have fisty, fisty punch. Fuck. I'm Creed is gonna overtake. My Creed is gonna overtake, yeah. <laughs> the problem is, once I start punching and I can't kill her, she's gonna turn around and gals me. The other option is to Molotov her so she catches fire. That's incredibly risky. I think whatever I'm about to do, I should just eliminate the kill three percent stuff and not focus on capping her. This mission has gone to shit already as is, and let's forget about the guy outside. Let's focus on the kill three percent stuff and her pal. You know, something I really, really do hate this game. I, I, I'm gonna have to kill her. God, this, this, hmm. Hmm. Leading for three, it might actually be a chance to save her ass. I do believe this just stops the bleeding, which is like a hundred times better because she won't even be able to get up. She might still be overstunned, but that's not my problem anymore. Okay, this this hundred percent is my problem. Um. That does you are. Hmm. I'll be taking that.
Don't fuck me. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, I was in that moment he realized. He made a slight grave mistake. Yozers. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Lots and lots of mistakes were made. Rip and tear until it's been done. Oh man, so many mistakes. All for my creed. All for my creed. Look, hunt mode is available. That's nice of you, game. That's very nice of you. You know... I just realized, it's about to get a thousand times worse, isn't it? Fuck me. God, I can't believe that uh, she died as well. That's unfortunate. So, real quick... No. Oh. So there's two over here, right? They haven't panicked yet. Which can mean two things. One. Oh, that sucks. Two. Uh, Sayonara. I don't like this. Two. They are guardsmen. And my Nekomimi is practically dying at the moment. Yeah, yeah, there you go, a Scorchman. So, uh, I don't think we have this. I don't think we have this at all. I think it's uh, pretty much GG. Game over, it's over. Because I just don't see how we can possibly do this. The vermin rifle is not going to be enough. I can attempt to throw a molotov or a grenade, I guess. That's another possibility. Yeah. Energy is going to be a limiting factor here. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's better, I guess. Not fantastic, better. Ah, fuck, it's over. It's over. You've got to be kidding me. No, no, I'm not kidding you. It's over. It's all over, but the crying. You know, I'm not proud of myself. I'm gonna be honest, I'm I'm definitely not proud of myself. Yeah, she's gonna go KO next turn. Damn. If only I had some moonshine available, but I don't have moonshine nearby, so... Let's 
that also becomes an issue. Yeah, 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 yeah it's over. Reed got the better of me. Shit. Reed got the better of me. Like the problem is I can't kill him unless I shoot him in the back. Never should have come here. Yeah. I think I have vastly overestimated my, my actual power, um, which I've been doing this entire time. What the? And she went insane again. Okay, well, there you have it. That's that's the general uh, everything you want to say about it. Oh, sorry, my bad. I'm supposed to go there. It's, that's the part that really does suck, though. I think we could have done it. Oh shit, I abandoned the entire game, not the actual mission itself. Oops. I think we could have done it, but... I fucked up. I really played that in the end quite poorly. Um, like, I'm fairly certain if I had played that more... smart, or clever, we would have had it in the back. No capping, no reckless charging. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll try the temple right. I do believe that we can do that, but... I like front, frontal, frontal tankers. That's, that's the painful part. Now I see why I say others ignore. Yeah. It is definitely doable, but... It requires a lot of planning and a bit of luck as well. I just like to do stupid shit that gets me killed, so I guess that doesn't count, right? You got more than lucky, yeah, okay, that's... I, I, I do fully agree, I did get lucky on a few accounts. Um, definitely not gonna disagree with that. Especially at the very end, I got quite lucky. The entire inside of the uh, inside of the UFO. Big bonk, let's go. All right, so the plan is fairly simple. Um, go for it and kick some ass. Oh yeah, this fucking mission sucks, doesn't it? Where's the temple? Temple's all the way up there, okay. Uh. Like, I think the big problem is, once you're actually dealing with what's-his-face, once you're actually dealing with the guardsmen, you have to strike them in the back. If you can't strike them in the back, you just can't fight them. You know, it's simple as that. Okay, so here's the plan. We are going to be approaching the temple from the main entry point. We do sadly not have an electro flare to throw out. Where's the main entrance? Oh, jeez, it's all the way down there. Okay. Like, I know that when I do the UFO missions, and this is 100% me, I should not be doing them. Um, I'm, I'm basically tempting fate. If we lose 4 or 5 people, that's on me. I just usually pull the plug whenever we lose our entire craft. Because, well, that is basically a quote unquote loss. And as much as we would love to see the first month of the game, um, it's, it's no long war. <laughs> um. <laughs> That's all we'll be seeing in that case. That's my greed. It's so damn greedy. Uh. 
that's nightmare fuel, oh, trust me. Even after three years, I'm still traumatized. I think somebody just tried to shoot me. No, we tried to shoot them. Yeah. One might even argue that's all the content you would see. Yeah, I don't know. I just lack tactical insight. I lack planning. And I am way too uh, greedy. Like, I would literally say, like, okay, what I'm about to do is a mistake. I'm gonna get my ass kicked, but I'm gonna do it anyways. And then I make a mistake. I get my ass kicked. You be surprised by it either. So that's most likely the guy I've been looking for this entire time. Hmm. There's two entrances to this thing. Oh my god, I still remember that we mech rushed. Boy, that was a fun playthrough until I fucked everything up and uh, we still started dying. I've actually played- oh shit, hi. Alright, it's uh, getting hectic in here. So, um, as much as I would love to get caps, I don't think these people are capable of getting caps. Unfortunately. Who doesn't love to farm exalt? So he might actually shoot me in my back now that I think about it. Fuck. Yeah, god, I think we once did that. That was pretty fun. Ay, shite! I didn't think he would see me like that, but he apparently can. Uh, she's not okay. She is not ok. Oh, don't tell me I fucked up. I fucked up. Fuck. Shit, I fucked up big time. Shit, how did this happen? Alright, oh, bonk you on the head. No matter how you want to look at it. Um... Yeah. Shit. Let's get these people down here. She's gonna bleed out. That's, that's the problem I'm having. I'm gonna need my item stash. Also, you guys, please fall back. 
Yeah, I need flares pretty badly actually to succeed here. And I don't even have the ammo to keep this going. Damn it. I know who just shot me. Let's get some quick heals in. Let's go. Bleeding for two, right? Bleeding for two, yeah. Did you succeed at beating the 40k? Yes, we did. Um. I took the easy way out. I just brought an orbital beacon and uh, that solved the heresy problem right off the bat. I hear you melted the warp stone, the floor. Yeah, we did a little bit of melting. But not the warp stone, at least. <laughs> I mean, it's a proven strategy. Uh, if it works once, it works twice, right? Pretty good. But overall the mission was pretty tough. I don't think I could have done it without uh, air beaconing it, to be fair. Can we please kill the guy? Please. Just... Oh my god, just drop him like a freaking hot potato, that's all I'm asking for. Also, let's deal with uh, the savvy gal over there, because I'm kind of tired of her. That's right, I'm kind of tired of you. Then again, she's probably just gonna punch me back. Hey everybody, how are you doing? Holy shit, that's uh, quite a few of you. I was gonna say, rip and tear. Is it actually ripping and tearing or is it just uh, chilling? And chill. I don't like the fact that they're blitzing me down here. Apparently we're not quite there yet. Yeek. Double yeek. Ah! Can't even kill her. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill the priest somehow. Fuck. This is the problem. This is where I'm really starting to feel the pain. Using peasants. Please go away. Please go away. You. If only I had a good game. A uh, gun, not game. Gun. Uh, I can try to run with the musket, I guess. Shotguns will be nice though. Very nice, actually. Let's see. Zero hits. Yeah, to be expected. That's good. Never quite understood the hate towards floaters. Uh, just, just forget about floaters. Let's talk about drones instead. I have lots of things to say about drones, not so much about floaters. Yeah, that's right. Your priest. Damned bastard. Oh. 
Do any of your cats have decent throwing? Uh, no. No, 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 no. Their throwing is 56, I guess might be decent, but yeah. I should probably give them both, so you're 100% right. <laughs> Alter boy that. Let's keep moving. Monster. Fuck me. Sideways. Fuck. God fucking. Fuck you. Jesus. I... So sick of this. So sick of this. Every time. And the fucking ass just gets to walk away as well. Can you believe it? <sighs> That's what I get. That's what I get for uh, dealing with peasants, right? Peasant revolution. Or like, peasants my ass. Oh yeah, look at that. They're shooting me again. Like, where, where is the little fuckhead going? Get over here. Okay. I have a thing or two to say about you. There he is. Look at him. Look at him cower in the corner. He's supposed to be a person. Get out of here. Maybe I should just not be using a... Yeah, maybe I should just not be using a... Girls. Like, look at that. Oh dear. Like, fuck off. Die. That's all I'm asking from you. Just die. Thank you. Cat girls. You used to... You want cat girls? At this rate, there won't be any cat girls. Not where we're going. Oh dear, yeah. Uh, let's murder all of them, I'm done. I'm done playing nice. He's, he's just... Fuck off. Fuck you. Where are ya? Bastard. There's no mercy for my girls. Mercy for anybody, really. This is, this is going so poorly. Like, I remember running these missions with 100% confidence. Uh, that, that's gone. Like, completely gone. Fuck. So upset. So upset. Ah, uh, 18 turns in and I can't even clear this out. I mean... Should just switch to a full leaf of damage at this rate. Just, just kill them. Just kill them all. Leave no survivors. That's the way to play this. Look at him. Look at him trying to blitz me. That's what you get for blitzing me. Seriously, I like the ammo. Really. That's right. That's what you get. Enemy surrendered one. Then dead men looted. Two hands lost. It's not going great. Um, too happy. Not too happy at all, but that's on me. That is 100% on me. <laughs> A woman in the pushka outfit looks absolutely hideous. 
Uh, no, it looks great. What you talking about? All right, Angel of Love, Idol, Black Widow, Murder, and Psycho. Books in the Komata. Damn. <laughs> I guess. I guess we're freeing up some living quarters, but I actually would like to uh, manufacture a few additional cat girls. Should we be able to get the last two? All I need is ten fish. Right, let's uh, purchase ten fish. Big oof, that's all I can say. Oh man, that was such a step in the gut though. Um, I mean, I guess I could have seen it coming. I was playing with fire there. Oof. Knock knock, a visitor showed up at her hideout. She turned out to be a damsel of exceptionally cute. You lost. No time in dragging to your bedchamber, only to almost get assassinated with the dagger she held in her sleeve. After that, fail, uh, after that failed, you were able to overpower her, but your crew questioned your sanity for insisting to keep the assailant alive and mostly unharmed. Oh no. Ah, those three are back. Good. Inmate, your compulsive behavior landed you in jail. You had to pay a 25k fine to get out of there, but not before you made a couple of friends. Uh... Weirdness. Problems need to be solved, and the proven combination of strength, dedication, and charisma does not always work. That is when you often need to try weird stuff to overcome the problem. Is relying on old solutions viable? How much does this... Would that really work? How much do we really know? Doing a seemingly dumb thing turned out to be a good idea. The answer, by the way, to that is yes. Uh, when you face a reality as weird as we do, getting weird as well might be necessary. We will need to turn every stone and scrape every piece of information we can lay our hands on. Thankfully, we, the Brainers, are weird by both passion and trade. So you believe half the strange stuff we discovered about the lab while well, we found... Uh, about the lab we found at our hideout. There we go. Even speak. Ballistic, spring cleaning, or ability, and what do? No. Clean, uh, cunning. That is next. In the meantime, band aid kit might be interesting. Also leads eventually to advanced med kits, but. What will be the best there ever was? So why was I researching this again? Because this leads eventually to drum roll, please. What's the deal with tiny drill? Recruit castaway gal. Let's re uh, research re castaway gal because I do believe we have one. Don't worry, we're not going to be doing this mission. Uh, everything's fine. Carry on. Nothing to worry about. Everything's okay, pris uh, prisoner. Oh boy. What are you planning on doing there, Palio? Okay, it's just a bunch of Necrons. I don't think these things land to them. Scientific experiments, now this is something I actually want to go to. I don't think uh, Zeppelins uh, tend to land, so let's uh, keep rolling. I wonder if the musket is really the preferred option or if I should stick to the varmint rifle, but I don't have enough bullets for that, so... I'm highly debating it. So scientific experiments can be quite dangerous. You know, considering the fact uh, we might be dealing with the quote-unquote unexpected. will be quite unfortunate. But we'll see.
Alright, so I heard mostly mechanical doors, so let's look for the uh, research facility. Alright, and we have spotted our first academy nurse. Let's remain hidden. Hope for the best. Hey! Hello! Uh, what brings you here? I kinda wanna pop her with a shotgun, but... Uh, I might have better options available at the moment. This is what I was afraid of. Oh, this is what I was afraid of. Take a very narrow angle, take a knee, and then pop. Watch his head, pop. That's right. It was in this moment I realized uh, I might have made a minor mistake. We want to take care of her. Boy, me and making minor mistakes. What a old combination. What a old combination. Why did I leave the person with the shotgun alive? You know, the one that I was actually mostly worried about. <laughs> you know, sometimes I question my own sanity in those cases. Uh, they seem to be... to be knocked out. Oh my god, I still didn't equip them with freaking bandages. I, I really need to start using bandages. Quite proactively. This is, by the way, what we gotta clear out. Oh, fuck me. I saw the drone. That drone is uh, trouble. That drone is trouble on the horizon. Yeah, good, good old vodka. I remember. Well, in my defense, I can't buy vodka yet, so um, it's a scarce resource to me, so... Yeah, that's great. Right, one researcher. I really, really want to try to go for some caps here, but... Why don't I just take the back room? Uh, that might actually be a lot more clever. Man, these fucking seagulls are killing me. Please go away. Please go away. I'm hiding. Can't you see I'm hiding? Let's respect the hiding process. Yeah, notice what is missing. What was that? I was gonna say, notice what's missing, it's a drone. But, uh... 
Okay. What was that though? I am not familiar with the weapon right off the uh, top of my head. Not familiar with what weapon did that. I think it was a drone weapon to be fair. As long as that drone is about, I need to be concerned. Please go back to sleep. Thank you. Slightly overstunned, but nothing to worry about. Let's not check out the base. I think I found the drone. Yep, I found the drone. Come on! Come on! God, that is such a dick move. Well, I mean, if we're about to die anyways, I might as well just go all in, right? A drone, by drone. Right off its armor as well. What a surprise. Man, that was so lame though. That was so damn... Okay, well, it's been quite a while since a medic has hit me, so I won't... Okay, so I am officially being just fucked up by medics, gotcha. I'm pretty sure I can melee... Uh... <sighs> Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't think I can see uh, close quarter combat, but we'll see. Yeah, can close quarter combat them. God damn it. Where am I going wrong? Where am I going so god off wrong that we are getting just completely, utterly and totally demolished at the moment? Molotov the drone. On to bed. Yeah, I have really just no way to get through that armor. She's gonna bleed out anyways. Um, doesn't matter what I do at this point because I am... <sighs> am I just capping too aggressively? Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, definitely. I've taken some insane risks. Any lasers on the corpses? Maybe. No, I am. Um... I would have to run a different setup and stop doing this. There's a lot of issues that I have with my current setup. First of all, I definitely do want to use bandages. I keep forgetting about them and I feel so stupid that I don't have them. They can literally save lives and there's a few times where I just have to forfeit lives because I don't have bandages nearby. Secondly, um, as much fun as this is, I probably should consider also having a shotgun available. The bombs are quite nice, yeah, I really should be using the bombs, um, especially these, because they are instant. Molotovs are nice as well during nighttime time, because they light the area up. I need to play more on my peasants, I think that's another thing that I have been neglecting quite a bit. 
Like, I don't play enough with my peasants. Or I don't take them into consideration. I'm not talking about charging them uh, head first into the enemy because that's pretty dumb. Fuck the small revolver. There, I said that's. Fuck the small revolver. How long until the harvester? Still quite a while. Um, still quite a while. Well, still gonna take a, a bit. Yeah, I was using a small revolver, which was a cold off a mistake. Uh, it's been pretty, pretty useless. It was the small revolver or the musket, and I had issues with the musket. Not what the issues were anymore. Yes, yes, I was trying to shoot a bunch of rats. Them, those pesky humans. Oh, jeez, that actually just about lights me up. I just realized that's not. Like, I think just doing this is a lot more beneficial because I also see other units because of it, which means that my peasants don't have to rely on night side, but they do have shotguns, so that's kind of a bit of a moot point to make. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. That was a nice shotgun. Very nice shotgun. Yeah, this is where I'm seeing some usefulness out of my peasants. Uh, let's get a kill in. Hmm. I could enough or not a kill, uh, some damage. The rest will come naturally. You should have a ranged weapon, by the way, I just realized. I'll pick it up from them. Yeah. Hey there, guys, how are you doing? These are amazing, stop complaining, I can't help it. Maybe if they stop being such a pain up my arse. It will help me quite a bit. Okay, well... I gotta just change my approach. I think I should be less aggressively capping and more aggressively killing. Which kind of feels counterintuitive because I'm basically killing cash away. But, eh. Well, better killing cash away than uh, my, my own people, I suppose. Alright. Fuck <laughs> away, children. The nudity up ahead. okay it's tasteful so it's not bad right it's tasteful um i should be flanking around also i should keep in mind that my people are actually visible from this angle uh, which will be quite unfortunate if they were to get shot because of it but hey live and let live and all that Okay, no, 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 I take it back. That sucks. Why would you do this to me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down there, nurse. Calm down. Okay, something ain't right about that. Fuck. Really, really, really. Is this what it's gonna come down to? Is this what it's going to come down to? Oh my god, that is exactly what it's going to come down to. Also, I think she might actually uh, be in severe trouble, but we'll see. Oh yeah, great. Bombs on close range, just what uh, the doctor ordered. Fuck me. Researcher. I 
Like I do hit them, it's just not good enough. Ah, bloody hell. Okay, yeah, I think I'm pretty at. Um, I, I don't even know anymore. I don't know how to play like this. As you can notice, um, I'm just getting my ass handed to me. Over and over and over. Yep, yep, that's just not good. Yeah. Oh my god. She's gonna bleed out, isn't she? She's probably gonna bleed out, yeah. Uh. Still haven't figured out a good strategy. I think that's currently my biggest biggest problem here. I just am failing to see a good strategy uh, develop here by me. Oh shit, strategies. Yeah, Black March pistols are pretty great. I've used them as well. I actually quite enjoy them. Welcome back there, uh, Jezebel. Looks like you lucked out and you didn't instantly die. But now we're developing Circle Jerk over here. That's not, uh, that's not great. Okay, this is... Uh, there's a very high attrition rate at the moment. Oh my god. Hold out pistol will take it. Bandages will take it. Like my biggest fear at the moment is just the fact that I can't really do much. Um can't really do anything useful. And I'm about to be droned as well. Like, I do have a cat to do some reconning, uh, some, some spotting, but jeez, that's, that's gonna work great, isn't it? Uh, like, this is not supposed to be tough. Maybe I'm making it more tough than it needs to be. So that's why she charged me. This damn fucking pistol doesn't even have ammo. Son of a bitch. Unbelievable. Not even using ammo. Yeah, we're about to break as well. Shoot. That's a shotgun. Ten rounds, perfect. I'll be taking those. We'll be okay, we'll be okay, we'll be okay. If I say it three times, we will be okay. Yeah, at least we're not overstunned, so that does help me a bit. Relatively safe on that end. Like, basically what I gotta do is I gotta try and close the distance, and once the distance is closed, I gotta finish her off. Wherever the hell she might be. I don't even know if she can see me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 100%, 200%, Also, this probably goes, yep, right over armor. Yay. I think I got incredibly lucky when I hit her once, but we'll have to see how this plays out. 
Also, there is still the drone that is uh, able. It's nice. I think the drone might be inside. That's why I'm so cautious about this. What the? Ah, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. We're breaking already. I don't have time to play cat and mouse with her. Which is funny because we have cats. Um... How do I deal with this? How do I deal with this? I can just kill some randoms on the floor, I guess. That might work. I just don't have time. In fact, that's awful. Uh oh. Oh no, that's that's not great, is it? That's not great at all. I just fuck up. I probably just fucked up. Go and scan this area. See if it's actually empty, empty. Ah, uh, and Jezebel did not make it. Ah, uh, how unfortunate. I'm a Jezebel. I was really rooting for you to survive. Yeah, the drone might actually be the last thing that I'm going to be struggling with quite a bit.
If only I had bombs or something to throw at it, but I did not pack bombs. Sometimes I just feel like I lose my own sanity. Come on! No, 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 no! You are my... You are my ticket out of here. You were my damn ticket out of here and you just went insane. Shit. Well... I tried everything. I tried everything and it just didn't work and she's gonna burn to death and fuck me. I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. This is supposed to be doable and I can't do it. I know, I know. Yeah, that actually doesn't go through the armor, does it? Uh, I know there's many issues I have. There you go, she died. Rip. Yeah. Smarted by a robot, can you believe it? Fucking Roomba. There's no one there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck me, I can't even do that. I'm starting to get the suspicion I might be playing on too high of a difficulty for my uh, skill level. Maybe I'm just not adapted to playing uh, normally. I know, Star, that's exactly what it's starting to look like. Yeah, I was waiting for the game to yell at me. Fuck. Okay, okay, here's the deal. Here's the deal, alright. We can do this. She'll be fine. But... We need a different approach. 100%. This is not working at all. Um, it's the deal I'm going to bed. You wish relics. That way you don't have to deal with me. But here I am. And here you are. You're stuck with me for now. And my uh, crippling addiction. Few evil laughter, ha 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 ha. We have to walk around with shotguns. Then again, I'm stuck with death for the awful thing. Cat crew over here should probably be using the musket still. Let's take care of that. Use the axe, use the baseball bat. And let's make sure that people actually do have freaking bandages with them. It's way too often that I just need them and people don't have them. So tired of that uh, nonsense, but that's okay. Um, less non-lethal da damage, more lethal damage, thank you. Yeah, the axe will be my saving grace here. Um, on that notion, let's make sure we have two of them. Okay, I just want to get this mission over with. Let's do it. I can think the biggest problem for me is just that I haven't really learned how to play with expendable people. Um, I'm very used to playing with 6 to 8 gals, which uh, means you can play a lot more aggressive, especially cap-wise. And that's no longer the case. Like, that actually gets people killed, as you can see on many, many occasions. So what I gotta do most of the time is find a person... Identify a person. Try to pinpoint their existence and then erase a set existence. And that's not too difficult. Like, I think that is very much doable. But it takes a little bit of uh, due diligence, so to say. And we should not be splitting up. I think splitting up. Uh, you know, I split up on multiple occasions. I think every single time I've done it so far, it has been a big mistake. Mm. 
It's a shame because I'd love to get some caps in. Yeah, sometimes it is what it is. I know I said I want save scum, but I feel like currently, um, if I don't do it, this run will quite literally be over. Uh, this is more me needing to learn shit than uh, being overly OCD about losing a singular person. I know that that used to be a big issue for me. Hello. So I always get so damn attached. Speaking about hello, can I actually kill you? Hmm. I wish the answer would have been yes. Yeah, my lack of long range capabilities, that's I think what's hurting me at the moment. I don't think my current solution is good enough. Like, it's nice to know that I'm running with a melee uh, setup, but if I don't have anything to really uh, deal with enemies from range or plan my moves carefully, because I think this was actually poorly planned. Ah, uh, yeah. And shit is gonna hit the fan. As per usual. So the way that we should probably be playing this is... Ignore the inside, focus on the outside, clear out the outside, then move to the inside. Because we can easily hear if somebody leaves this place when those doors open. And this is where it becomes really frustrating because I now need to scout ahead. With uh, units who are expendable, uh, not expendable, they, they, the, the entire mission depends on their night vision. So if they have a unfortunate accident, that is going to set me back severely. Oh, well, I think that was incredibly lucky. That that actually killed the drone. Because otherwise we would have been in severe trouble. And, well, there you go. That was a risk, yeah, that I did not consider. That's okay, I guess that's the important part, right? Every mission is different, even if it's the same. We might be seeing the end of the mission soon enough. I'm kind of wanting to uh, just wait one more turn. Let's see what's going to happen next before uh, we dive in and clear this area out. Because maybe all of them will break. Won't that be beautiful? Ask and you shall receive, apparently. I'm still not sure if this mission went any better, but... We need to play less aggressive and more tactical. Gals to spot. Tank. <sighs> yeah. Gives me a lot, a lot and lots of things to think about, to be fair. Lots of things to think about. Right, we're done with recruiting cat girls. Attack of common sense! Today you said something wise and reasonable. The girl was very surprised. Some are even worried about you due to this unusual event. I can relate. Right. So I think the way that I want to run this is I want to take one cat, like preferably two cadets, but one cat, a bunch of peasants, and one bull scale, or one gal, or two gals. Jesus, I'm so out of it. 
prison outfit, uh, first, 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 and tribal. Like, it's all about getting the right army composition going, I think. I think that's that's key here. Please tell me you're planning on landing. Please tell me you're planning on landing. Ah, shit. Nah, we won't be able to get it. How far are we from the Harvester? Uh, pretty far. It requires craft weapons. So, pretty far, yeah. Don't expect us to get it anytime soon. Cunning? Captain, I had a stunning revelation. Painstakingly crafting every last piece of equipment and machinery makes no sense if we can just buy stuff on the market. Trading? Oh, how about to trade we need to build trust and think faster than our competition. So instead of a legion of things, we develop just a single one to rule them all. We call it X, a group. Not only can we sell it on the black market for profit, but also use it to break the ice with the people of Jack's town. When drunk enough, they shall be more trusting towards us. Can't hear you. <laughs> yeah, it's one research away. And we are going to be needing some craft weapons. Um, craft and what else, what else, what else? A uh, bandits, let's research a ruffian. Yes, the weak girls, some of her sisters who shared her misery at the Academy Experimental Camp have either stayed behind or gone missing during our escape. It also sense the reason that like-minded souls have fallen on bad times elsewhere in this cruel world. Such people can be rescued and invited into our ranks. Yep. What's the deal with the tiny drill? This actually is quite important. And so is bounty hunting, by the way. Because I was uh, trying to see if people were paying attention. That's why. Oh man. I still say we're off to a very rocky start and it scares me. Also the ruffian. It is said the ruffians are more numerous than wild animals these days. You can find these guys in every part of the world, helping themselves to other people's possessions. They might be just lowly criminals, but times are hard and they have to be hard as well to survive. So they should not be underestimated, which I literally do all the time. They prefer the countryside to the busy and unhealthy cities. 72 interrogations increase our knowledge and the prisoners are released after being interrogated spread the word about our ferocity, wealth, and power. Interrogating any prisoner type for the first time nets us extra infamy, which is quite important for us. Quite important. I rest radar. Hmm. Why are dogs? Oh, well, it's almost like dogs actually might have a role to play for us. You found some really. Uh, you found an interesting cor uh, You found an interestingly colored piece of rock. It's a really nice rock, so you keep it. Good looking rock. Hell yes. I wonder if it's worth actually making a primitive bow when we could potentially be getting another bow soon enough, right? The survival bow. Eh, eh, uh, no, we're gonna be crafting a primitive bow. Let's make two of them and let's craft some uh, hunting arrows as well. So preferably, I'd probably want my Lochners to use uh, Lochners. What am I talking about? Can't you buy a hunting bow? Hey, yes I can, but isn't a... Um... Huh. Oh, I stand corrected. Be gone, heresy. Be gone. I knew there was something else besides uh, besides that, but there you go. Also, I should be crafting these things real quick. Craft weapons. While the British are busy fooling around Jackstown, we run spoke to some good people there about more practical things, like guns. Ah, the harvester. This is what we're after, apparently. 
Oh boy, that's going to be a blast, isn't it? How long? 10 days. Just going to put some more people on it, don't worry about it. It's currently quite calm in the world. Ground vehicle race. Yeah, good luck. Don't even have a ground vehicle to begin with. Alright, let's see what this thing is planning on doing. Ah, shit, never mind. Ah, that was sad. Bounty hunting. To get more riches, captives, and knowledge, we need to act more proactively instead of relying on our own radar and random gossip. Research topic marked as explanation mark, mission explanation mark will unlock new missions. Yes, that's correct. What to do? Question mark. Hmm. I do like the peasant. Ooh. Oh, what's the deal with the tiny drill? We finally found some time to poke around the menacing hull. We took the funny drill with us and well, the drill seems to be a control part of sorts. Or a missing piece of the hull's mechanism, we dubbed the egg. When we put it in, the whole machine came to life. There are four inert ports, which will activate different machine ma uh, magics when plugged. However, once the egg is one with the drill, there will be no turning back. The hull will spend its energies to awaken some properties at the cost of destroying the others. What properties? It is beyond our comprehension now, but a codex that will, uh, will be produced by the joining will contain the whole knowledge. <sighs> you can check what we can expect of each of them in the treasure section. Each codex, amongst other things, will give us the knowledge on how to turn the hull into a special ship. But, we, uh, but to have full understanding of it, we will need to interrogate some pilots, make test flights, learn basic ship construction and reach a certain level of education. So, nobody cares about gold, green, or red. We're all about the grey codex. But we don't have access to it yet. Son of a bitch, what am I missing? Oh, right, right, right. How far am I from the workshop? I won't even count on it. No, let's uh, expand an extractor. So yeah, starting next month we'll have it. Um, I should have probably gotten started on the extractor way earlier, but this is what it is. Distress call intercepted. Alright, let's go and check out this distress call then. I, I think uh, the consensus was that you're like just a bit short, but don't quote me on that. Please, please no quote. No quote. Alright, the vermin rifle. And let's also set up a little shotgun setup. I'm trying to pinpoint where this music is from. Yeah, I fully do agree actually. Uh, I just realized it's way past two. Thanks for stopping by though, it's uh, been a pleasure. Have a good evening, Dark Neffel. We're gonna be doing this mission, then I think I might also call it. I mean, after all, I do have work tomorrow, and probably a baby that's gonna keep me up like most of the night. Oh god, I'm killing myself. It's such a joy to play this though. Let's check out this distress call and uh, get that done. Okay, I am 100% fucked. I 
am 200% fucked. I'm 500% fucked. Okay, I just... How about... Just, just call the day. Go home. I'd like that. That's good. That's very good. And she's gonna fuck me up. Uh, that wasn't too bad, actually. I mean, if she stopped running away, it would be better, but that wasn't too bad. Pretty good. You're gonna make me do it, aren't ya? You're gonna make me do it. Alright, well, no shame, no game. No shame, no gain. It could have been a good chance to get a. Oh, fuck me. Why did I know this will happen? I knew this will happen. Oh, yeah, see, this is... This is why I should have gone to bed. It's just not gonna get any better anymore. Not enough, yeah, okay. This is, this is just... Such a shit show. Um... Mm -mm. I'm calling it. I'm uh, I'm gonna get some sleep. I really need to figure out how to do this properly because this is just getting messy and reckless. Um Yeah, that's that's it. I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep. We'll we'll deal with this mission uh, next time for now. Thanks everybody. Uh fuck, look at that. I'm not even playing for four hours and I've already resorted to uh, awful saves coming. Maybe I'll just do a fresh playthrough, I don't know. I'm gonna sleep. Thanks everybody, have a good evening, take care, and uh, hope to see you next time. Ah, have a good one.